have to get live chat going. So. Here. Did I not do public? Did I not do public? I don't know. Dang. No, someone's here. Yay. Okay. So take it back. Okay. Use your right hand. Put okay. Your thumb around the, you know. Hello. Hi, Deb. You're, we're back. You're back. I'm glad to see that. Hello there. Oh, yay. People are coming back in. Hi, Lynn. <laughs> nice to see you too. Debbie from Chicago. Hi there. I'm back. Yay. Perfect. Yes. Don't, no, no, don't, don't. I'm just flipping it so I can say hello to everybody. <laughs> we're here. Don't touch anything. Yes, I know. I'm a menace. Let's, uh, we're going to flip when the camera. When you scroll, you have to scroll on the on comments. On the comments. And don't hold on a comment. Okay. Well, thank you all. I'm glad we're all back. Let's take a look. We're going to get through the last couple of spaces here. Yeah, it was me, I'm sure. <laughs> I don't know what I did. But uh, anyhow, uh, okay, we're going to look at the rest of this space because he had some fun stuff in little cases that I was telling you about that you couldn't see. He has lots of stuff in little cases. We're just going to take a look and see if there's anything that jumps out at us. Modern tanks quality. Old Tootsie toy car here. Little fire engine. But what I really was curious about is actually down here. Yay, I'm glad we're all back. Thank you, yes. And, um, and you folks too, we're going to take you along for a little bit more. Oh, oh, this is owl arrest. I was thinking it was more interesting. I like the uh, eyes. Yep. But I don't think Alarest has been around that long, has it? Have to look at that. I mean, it must have some age. Mm. It's kind of rusted. Well, I think it would clean up. Let's see what he wants for it. I just think the eyes are really good. I don't think anyone wants to see hay fever, but... <laughs> and then let me look at what's back here. Well, he's got a customer, so I don't want to interrupt. I mean, we're here on a busy day. So, old How much Firestone tire ashtray. Oh, thank you. How much can you do on that? Twelve dollars. Yeah, I'll take it for that. Okay. <laughs> thank you. He's got the Gulf Pride Select here, the old bank. Anything Gulf does well. What's the matter? It's got oil on it. I'll carry it. No, you don't need to carry it. Okay, let's see. We've got torch fuel. We've got tins. Most of these kind of tins don't do all that great, unless they're in great shape. Now, if it's Texaco or Amelie or an oil company, they do well. But things like paint and linseed oil, they're they're fairly common and they're just not as collectible as some. So, but we are going to get the, strangely enough, the Alarest thing because it's a great little rack for the price. Okay, I'll wash it when later. <laughs> Yes, we're not going to put oil on the stuff, I promise. I love that with the eye, too. I thought it was really great, Alicia. I just, I mean, I figure, you know, yeah, the rest is for hay fever, but I think if somebody, uh, you know, if I display stuff in front of it, I think I could actually use it in a um, jewelry display, oddly enough. This fellow sure has the stuff. Okay, he's got, here's something... Here's a big rusty thing you might see in a garage and you might say, oh, I can't wait to throw that away, but these actually sell for quite a bit of money now, these big old oil cans. Even in that condition, that's probably 45 or $50. And I like to say things like that to folks who maybe are more, you know, like, oh, this old rusty guy stuff, who cares? Just so that you know, because, you know, this stuff has some stuff. Oh, uh, I'll try, I don't know if I've got it, let me look. We've got 10, 11. Oh, I do. I do. I'm sorry. I didn't know I had it. There you go. Thank you, sir. I would buy it if you want to sell it. Oh, well, sure, Elisa. I'd be glad for you. Yeah, send me an email. I'll be glad to sell it to you, and then uh, we'll make everybody happy. Because I do think it's really cool. I agree with you. I'm glad you see in it what I saw in it. So now... Poor Zeno has become the pack animal. <laughs> yeah, everything over here is a dollar. So we're going to take a look at this end of it because I didn't go through all of this and see if there's anything. Here's every beer can you could possibly want, except these are the era, you know, people 
people really want cone tops and stuff. Lots of books. You know, there's always the odd shed. The Buster Brown shoes is actually kind of neat, but not in good shape. Nothing else is a Pepsi. These have a lot of mold. Ooh, Sears catalogs. What year is this? 93. It's newer than I usually do, but any of these catalogs, I mean, especially they're not doing this anymore. And at some point, this stuff is all back in the past. Is this the vintage fashion that's coming back now? Interesting. Lots of Harvard classics. Oh, the Blue Book Birds of America. That's cute. This is actually a really sweet one because it shows all of them. And for only a dollar, I think I have to have that. I've sold these before and they're very sweet. And, uh, oh, thank you, Sheila. I appreciate that. We're always grateful for any of that. Bringing nature home, how you can sustain wildlife with native plants. Uh, would that be useful? We could get that. Yeah, we have a butterfly garden, so that kind of thing is... Yeah, well, it attracts, it seems to be full of frogs and toads right now, but uh, it attracts old stuff, so that's good. Now, if you ever see an original Hopefully, shoulder pads stay away in fashion. I agree, Karen. Oh, you don't want some. Oh, thanks, Willie Joe. I'm going to get that. Absolutely. Um, the house that Jack built. Now, if this was an original Caldecott, this would be a hundred bucks. Here's something you need to read, George. The Odyssey by Homer. Yes, yeah, George I, needs to read it. I lack a classical education, so that probably would be a good thing for me. The Golden Treasury of Early American Ooh, Houses. Look, 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 wow. Look, look, look. The colored thing. Oh, dear. Look at that. The Flying Nun. So it was a book? Well, I'm sure that they wrote a book based on the show. Are you sure? There was... It's not the other way There around. was once a nun who got herself into a very embarrassing predicament with the U.S. Army and the CIA. They thought she was a communist spy simply because she could fly. Yes. I don't know. That's pretty funny. This look, is, at the, look at the illustrations. Those are cool. Yes, there are little illustrations. The oh, habits yeah. With the like, paper airplane hat. Right, yes, with the giant <laughs> hat that she could fly with. Oh, yes, I think we have to get that. It's got the dust cover. It's just silly enough. Yeah, put it up here. Okay. Oh, you want to hold that? Okay. Yep. I don't want to. But I, I don't blame you for not wanting to hold it. Uh, okay, oh, and I'll set that because Willie Joe liked the bird book, and I agree. I think yeah, it's really cute. This? It was here. Well, there's another one there. What's that? that one. Which one? Planting native. Am I looking right at it? Yes. You're looking right at it. Right there. You had your hand on it. No. Ha! Ah, to attract birds to your yard. Okay. There we go. Got it. Motors Auto Repair. This might seem unsexy, but some of these sell for pretty good money. This is 1962. Now, a lot of people who do the old cars look for this stuff because it's got all the information about how to take apart your old car and put it back together again. I never could do the putting back together very well, though. So that's probably a good deal, but it's a little rough. Um, history of the Peloponnesian War. I'm sure the Peloponnesian War was very important. I've heard of it, but I, <laughs> the can't, I can't tell you much more about it than that. Here is a Hardy Boys book. This is the shortwave mystery, and Hardy Boys books tend to sell, usually for about $5 a piece, so we'll take that. Mm. Is this bird thing coming? Yes, it is. That right there it is. You want it? Open it up. Okay, we'll take a look at it. Birds, bugs, and the plants that they love. Oh yeah, Lobelia. And it tells you what uh, things to attract and where they grow and all that stuff. So, I mean, it looks well researched if you sure. think it'd be useful. So, tell you what, let's just make this yeah. pile right yeah. there so you don't have to hold it. These Harvard classics for a dollar a piece are probably worth buying for somebody to put on a shelf, but I'm more interested in seeing what the USTA yearbook looks like because this is about horses and we're in horse country. Oh, this is summaries of races and how much they run, won and tracks. And yeah, this would only be interesting to someone who was really serious about it. So do you have that okay? I can carry them. Okay, we're trying to juggle here because all this. I sell the motor books all day. I agree, Clearwater Valley. I mean, I think they're really easy to sell. Um, and I probably should be buying it. But 
we're buying a whole lot of other things I think will come out all right. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, there's more Sears, but they're all 92 and 3. Oh, but we've got the Monkey Wards from 85. Montgomery Wards. My mother always called them Monkey Wards. We really do need a cart. I've got to buy a wire cart and bring it. It's so silly of me not to have this. 1980s, and we have sort of Izod looking shirts. And car seats that I'm sure are now illegal. And ooh, there's a very 80s outfit and look. I have to admit, I'm getting a kick out of that. And here's the spring and summer. Oh, that's the same one, but this one's in better shape. So I think this is the one I'm going to get because the 80s are far enough back and people keep asking me what to buy from the 80s and how can you tell? Well, there's no better way than to get an old book that tells you and shows you exactly what they were selling back then. And here it is. Torch lamps are coming into style, black and gray, just like now. So, yeah, this will be this will be something of use, I think. So we're going to take that one, too. And then we will have to go back to the car because this is going to be heavy. But we're almost through every place that we're going. So I'm going to let him uh, make his pile, and I will look what real quickly at the rest. Catalogs? Just the top one. Wait, Montgomery Ward, yeah. Carry yeah, no, I'll, I'll no, take no, it. No, 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 no. Just, let's just get it and go. Okay, we'll take it to the we'll take it to the car. Okay, very good. Let me pay these folks for that. Then. Better than a dollar a piece. No, I don't think so. So easy to get distracted. This is a postcard from about 1910 with a button on it. Can you imagine that just you could send that through the I'll mail pay, at one pay, time? Pay them and I'll take okay. Back to the car. Okay. Sorry about that. So one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. We owe you eight dollars for those books there. Uh, yes, please, if you could. Do you want a bag? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, folks, we're going to dance around a little bit here for a minute while we get this going. Zeno's arms are falling off. Thank you very much. You. Appreciate it. Okay. Lunch is next. Yeah, I agree, Nancy. Lunch will be next after a little more, more of this. But, uh, okay. He is doing the magic bagging. Do you want me to hold something? Can I do anything to help? This is a little different for us because of me holding the phone. So, let's see. So, let's see. We had a monkey wards in my hometown. Yeah, we did in mine, too. Thank you, Crafty Kitty. It is fun. We have, uh, the flea markets in the rural areas can be really good. They've got, um, because it's the big weekend, they've got people from Indiana and Kentucky and Illinois selling here. So it's a good variety of things. And Zeno's trying to, our Montgomery Wards is now a Goodwill. Um, the Montgomery Wards in the town I lived in is now a, an auto parts store. <laughs> and the old Montgomery Wards is an antique mall. Okay, that's our car run. Okay, that's great. Thank you. Do you want me to come with no, you to the car to help you? Look at this real quick. Okay. Let's okay. Just get this over with. These are Coca Cola, where they show enjoy Coca Cola in all the different languages, and these actually are pretty easy sells because of that. But they only have three, and that's kind of an odd number. All right. Well, I think we did pretty well at the dollar table as far as getting what we should have. Yes, I saw that. that is Yes, I saw one of those in perfect condition at an estate sale in Indiana last year, and I should have bought it because Zeno collects vacuum cleaners. He doesn't realize he does, but he does. <laughs> yeah, nope, I saw this side already, so, okay. Um, shall I accompany you back to the car? Do you want to look at the last space and then go? Okay. He has definitely got it organized. Okay, so I think we've just got a couple more spaces here at the flea market, and then we're probably going to try to hit some, uh, maybe some garage sales on the way home, yes, so. Can, uh, George can be the director, cameraman, narrator. Yes. As we drive around. Right. We've just got one person way off in the back 40 
that we haven't seen, but I remember well, them you from. Back there and I'll pick you up. Okay, thank you. I'll see you there. Oh, and we've got to pick up those boxes. Yeah, I've got three boxes of stuff from the very first. The vacuum brand was a, um, a filter queen. I want the catalogs. Well, Sandy, send me an email. I, uh, um, I, I only got the Montgomery Wards, but I think it's a pretty decent one. So uh, it is for sale and you are certainly welcome to uh, send me an email about it. And we're gonna go back to this back corner here. He's gonna get the car and meet me. Then we're gonna go pick up the three boxes of stuff I bought when we first got here. If you folks have been with us all this, uh, time. I'm sure uh, we've had a lot of folks float in and out as people wake up across the country. And let's see what we have back here. I don't remember because these folks, they love the corner. They set up in the corner every year. And I am not sure what it is about being out the corner here that they like, but I guess it makes you visible because you're off on your own. So let's see what they've got in all these bins. Ooh, look at that neat bed. That's pretty cute with the uh, decals on the end there. All right, so in these bins here, what do we have? We've got a little of everything, it looks like. Carousel horse, that might be a music box. No, it's just the horse. This looks like it might be a Shawnee piece. Yeah, there it says Shawnee on the bottom. Oh, it's the globe planter. I thought that was kind of a cute one. They've got 10 on that. Well, we'll see what they'll do. And we've got the McCoy Bicentennial, Spirit of 76 there. The old vacuums, yes, the old vacuums really are amazing. It's just after a while, they get so full of dust that you start blowing dust all over everything, but they still work. <laughs> All right, we've got an old Raggedy Ann in there. I think these are all newer metal signs. Yes, that appears to be the case. Newer prints. You are looking particularly healthy and handsome. Oh, well, thank you, Star. I appreciate that. I am definitely feeling a lot more rested. I've been sitting home doing appraisal work and paying my consigners and getting caught up on things. And that has definitely helped because I was a little creepy from my trip across to the West Coast and back. So thank you for uh, noticing. I do think I'm doing better. <laughs> I actually had a viewer say, ooh, you don't seem very well in the last uh, video. And I wasn't, but I am now. I will have a new video on Monday night for you folks, actually, showing one of the places I hit there on the way back. Hi there, how are you? Oh, this is a neat old uh, crock top here, but it doesn't have the, uh, this would have been a water cooler. You can see the hole for the spigot there. If you had the stuff to put it back together again. Well, they've got 10 on it. What could you do? I'll go five. Five? Okay, you got a deal. I'll take it. Good. Thank you. Let me get you a $5 bill. And or something close. Yeah, there you go. Thank you, sir. All right. Okay. Well, they had something. See, it pays to walk to the back. I mean, um, I have never actually owned the Shawnee Globe Planner before, and it's really a pretty decent one. It sells pretty well, and it's just a little dirty, and for $5, I'm happy with that. Whoops, sorry about the rattly there. How is Zeno's grandpa? He's doing really much better. He's back from Florida. They have his house. Um, they took off the addition that had gotten smashed in the tornado. Hey, Sarah, good to see you. Um, they also managed to fix the rest of the house so that it's actually probably the nicest it's ever been. And he got a decent amount of money from the insurance company and he still gets to keep the house and live in it. So, you know, from his perspective, honestly, it probably worked as well as it possibly could. And Critter Girl, if you like that planner, just send me an email. You know, you folks are seeing it first, so that means you Oh, thank you very much, Elisa. I will get you a number on that and clean that up for you and we'll figure something out. And so, yeah, you folks are seeing this stuff first. So like a couple of you have said, hey, I like that thing. Well, if you like it, let me know and it might just end up being yours. 
All right, so he is coming with the car now. So I am gonna go meet him because we have to then go get a couple of boxes of stuff. And then we're gonna go hit some garage sales, I think. We love your advice to look for things that seem out of place. You're welcome. I have to be honest, I think that's the best piece of advice I ever figured out to give people. Would you like fries? Yeah. Would you like fries with that? I'm not. Okay. Doesn't mean you won't. <laughs> That's true. It doesn't. Well, you're welcome, Tiger. And we're gonna actually have maybe a little bit more for you here. Uh, we're, we're gonna go on to. We're gonna pick up something and then maybe go to. Weren't there some garage sales? There were some garage sales on the way, and we might just hit a few with you folks still with us if you're uh, interested. So um, stay tuned. We're going to drive through the flea market on our way to go pick up the stuff that I bought at the very first place. And so, you know, if there's anything we missed, well, this is our big chance. Last and time you left stuff here. From that, we left that stuff back there. We had to come back. Oh, yes, that's right. Yeah, yeah. One thing about buying a bunch of stuff and then leaving it behind is you have to remember where you left it because, yeah, we did have to make a trip back here once because we got part of the way home and then realized that, oh, we had a bunch more stuff. Did we go back this far? Yeah, we did. Okay. I don't remember the... Oh, we didn't go to the corner space, but I guess we can drive by it. Here's our drive-by of stuff we didn't see before. The pump for $25 is not a bad price, but it's not a real old one. And then up here is our last corner. Now, it used to be that the people over here were the ones who sold the uh, animals, chickens and livestock and things like that. We did see some bunnies and little uh, chicks this morning, but that was it. And that looks like mostly new yeah. stuff and mostly tools back there. So now we're gonna head up to the buildings here. This place is actually really big. Um, it's been here since 1979 and they open every Tuesday and then now they're opening on Saturdays as well, which is a fairly new thing. And then of course, because it's Memorial Weekend, they're open all weekend long here. That's why we've got extra stuff going on. So here's this and then to the right is this next building, which is where we got the first stuff. And I'm going to run in and get it. Oh, are you? Okay. Yeah. Very good. So you can keep them entertained. I will stand <laughs> at the door. No, just sit in the car. Well, we'll yeah, figure it out. It. Okay. So you see why we started here first? Because this is 50% off in here. Um, this. I'll be right back. Okay. Stay here. The 50% off booth is one that was um, originally, uh, I think it, it was an older couple, and I think their son had taken it over and just decided that it was too much. Hi, Sharon, nice to see you. Yes, so this was 50% off everything. We started here. If you didn't see it, you can go back uh, to the original broadcast and I'm not gonna go in there because it really doesn't have good reception, but I am gonna open the door for him because we've got some boxes coming, thank you. And there's one, yeah, I did get some good things out of the building. I mean, you know, I wouldn't say I found anything that's going to make me a million dollars today, but I did find lots of good stuff that I think is fun. And I'm really excited. I just really enjoy getting to do this. And it's, it's fun being able to bring you folks along because I, you know, a lot of the stuff that I tell you are things that kind of go through my head when I'm on my own. And it's nice to be able to say them to somebody. And when I have the camera, at least people don't think I'm nuts. <laughs> All right, so there's down the aisle and he's just getting the last box. This holding the camera thing is great. It means he has to do all the schlepping. I'm used to being the schlepper and he's the cameraman. I like this situation. So one more to come. One thing around here is it's hard to uh, meat and potatoes. And yes, we need meat and potatoes. Dessert is great, but meat and potatoes are what get you by and keep you alive. Dessert is just for fun. All right, well, here we go. I have a room with vintage maps and globes. Oh, how cool. I love vintage maps and stuff. And we are gonna jump back in here. And Nancy, I know you won the um, uh, the little mouse in the, in the toadstool house the other day, and I wanted to let you know that got mailed yesterday. Mouse? 
house and the toadstool house. Yes. Yeah, there's a name for them. Woodland surprises or something, I think is what they called. Okay, so... All right, so we're on the Where back were end. The garage sales? They were all, we came from that direction and they were all as we passed through, so. Do you want to go, so you want to turn left? Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Are you hot? Uh, well, I was. Oh, okay. I'd see beyond in potatoes, yes. <laughs> that's true. Oh, good, Nancy, anyway, I'm glad to hear the, you saw uh, it. There's the sign. Yep, that's where we are, folks. Town and Country Flea Market. Yeah, see, in the old days, they were only open on Tuesdays. It had to Monday do with... afternoon and then Tuesday. Right, and um, now, now, they're, Saturday. now they're also open on Saturday. If you go that way, that's Greenville down there. And Greenville is a small town with a lot of antique stores that opened here because of the traffic that the flea market brings. Hey, Bunker Hill, it's nice to see you. That's great. Oh, I'm glad you get to... Uh, oh, when you do the treadmill. Well, I'm glad I um, give you something to sweat to. <laughs> I have to say that uh, um, I do a lot of my watching when I'm doing other things too on YouTube because uh, it's it's definitely nice to have the company and during the drudgery. So you're going to see a little bit. It's actually pretty cloudy and cool today. We have been cooler and moister and not humid here. I mean, honestly, the weather here has been a lot like what I'm used to out in Washington State in the spring. Um, this year, which is unusual for Kentucky. It's usually, I think last year it was like... It's been 90 several days this month. Yeah, but I, think, like but I think last year, <laughs> I think last year it was like 90 degrees this weekend during the flea market. You weren't here. No, we were in Louisville because it was... No, that was all Labor Day. You're confusing Memorial Day with Labor Day. Oh, okay. Labor Day was when we did a live stream before... Ah, okay. So garage sale out that way? Yep, yep. Okay. It was down that, uh, sorry, we're going to turn around here. We saw our first garage sale sign, so, yes. We're going we're gonna to just do the, uh, the trifecta here. The flea market and at least two garage sales. Oh, yes, you've been watching the trial, so you're beyond, behind on thrifting videos. Well, what that trial? certainly has been Johnny Depp. That oh, certainly has Kentucky. been sens sensational. Yes, Johnny Depp is from Owensboro? Yep. Yeah, yeah, which is where... Uh, I lived for a while. Xenomorph lived in... Zeno. Yes, he lived in uh, yep. Owensboro, but he did not know Johnny Depp. No, well, but I knew his cousin. Oh, you knew his cousin? Really? He left, he went to Florida when he was, like, the, 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 oh, the, okay. the parents took him away when he was, like, a... Little kid tween or something i don't know and critter girl i will be in portland for the big antique show and then i'll be in seattle also concrete deer in their yard um so yes i will be in portland uh the i believe it's the seventh and eighth ah here's our garage sale somewhere oh is it that down there ah the parallel it's in longview yeah i don't think you, yeah i see yard sale down there yeah i don't think it's um i don't think it's hit 80 in Washington either from what I've seen. So Why are we just stopping in the middle of the road? Oh, because we're having a kiki. <laughs> Cuz we're not in any hurry. Says them. Apparently. Does yeah. Zeno know no George Clooney? No, that would have been a, ge a generation before movie. and he was yeah, the Rosemary Clooney and George and all of them that were was Maysville, which is the other side of Louisville. And no, it's way over by Ohio on the river. Yeah, yeah, it's on the Ohio River, and actually Maysville is the other end of the 400-mile garage sale that we're going to try to uh, do next weekend. So, Portland is a possibility. Oh, that'd be great. I'd love to see you in Portland. Yeah, it's, it should be a really fun show. They're expecting a lot more people than we had last year as far as dealers, because now that it's happened once, they understand that it uh, is going to work out. All right, so we're going to take a look here and see. I see a... Try not to show anybody's faces because I don't want to be annoying to people. Let's see. Well, a bunch of denim. I don't see anything that's as old as me, or as old as I look for or that will fit me. 
Some... Oh, don't want to get hung up on that. Looking for old stuff. What are you looking for? Oh, just like antiques and vintage stuff like that. Yeah, doesn't look like it. You got some useful stuff though. There's a single. Oh yeah. The sconce. Okay, well, I think I'll go this way to, there we go, I don't want to, we had a couple of folks there who I don't think necessarily wanted to be on camera, so, hi Karen Radford, your grandma babysat Don Johnson and paddled his bottom a couple of times, hmm, imagine that, I, I'm sure in later years people would have paid for that privilege. <laughs> On to the next. All right, we know we saw at least one or two more signs, so we're gonna to try to take you on another garage sale or two before we go. Yep, a lot of people just take advantage of the traffic and try to sell whatever. Oh yeah, yeah, oh heck, if I was near this, I would have a yard sale every time they were open. That's why I'm going to do the Highway 41 sale, and that's going to be my big open house and sale. And I've got about an 800 square foot with a 200 square foot porch, so I'll have about a thousand square feet plus maybe a tent full of stuff to get rid of during my sale, which is the 21st and 2nd of June. Oh, I see we've found a better spot. Ah, uh, yes. Okay, they went to have their conversation yeah, out of the road. That's good. <laughs> so you get a little bit of... Uh, this is what the countryside looks like too. Just got to Princeton. Oh, okay, very good. Princeton what? Which Princeton, Karen? Because we've got a Princeton next to us in Kentucky, but we've also got uh, Princeton, Indiana, a couple hours up the road where the antique show is. I might make it down for your sale. Oh, that'd be great, Sarah. I'm gonna try to have, uh, I'm gonna try to mix it up. I'll have a lot of stuff that's like blowout price um reseller price and then i will have some things that are antique and vintage uh, well i mean it's all going to be old uh i'll have most of it's going to be like estate sale liquidation prices and then if i put some of my show stock out well i'm still going to mark that down too so i think we're going to have fun okay oh kentucky oh very good karen well you're just right down the road from uh well where we would be except that we're the opposite direction and now we're now shopping <laughs> And uh, yeah, Sharon, it is really pretty here, actually. And um, Kentucky has some really fairly noteworthy attractions, the Natural Bridge and the Red River Gorge and um, the Cumberland Falls is Mammoth really Cave. great. Mammoth Cave, of course, is one of the world's... Uh, Mammoth Cave was the first big attraction that Europeans would come over in the 1840s and 50s to see um, in America. So uh, there's some neat stuff here. The, I like Cumberland Falls because if you're there at the right time, you get a moon bow rather than a rainbow. And it only happens, I think, once a month under a full moon, but it's one of the few places it happens at all. Oh, you've been there, Sharon. Neat. Isn't it a pretty place? I was just there a few weeks ago and it was beautiful. So... So here is the antiques thing. Oh, we could we could stop there real quick. They had this stuff last the time. garage sale, too. Oh, good. Perfect. Oh, and then there's one on the other side. So there's, it says two shops, but there's, it's really just one, but there's this little funky antique shop back here that I did find some cool things in before. So we're going to see if they're open and if they are, we'll hit that in this yard sale and see what these are like. This may be combined. Maybe combined, hard to say. It does seem like it's in the same general area down this street. So maybe they're just having a big sale. That would be good because they had neat stuff. I'd be thrilled if they were actually discounting some of the stuff that I couldn't buy last time. My heart is Kentucky blue, yes. Who? Karen Radford. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Oh, wow, that's quite the... Oh, that's like a Italian flag, oh. isn't it? Or Mexican? Mexico, I think. I don't know, I'll have to... It was like a big inlay thing in the... 
Loved driving through Kentucky years ago and saw clothes hanging on front porches. So quaint, yes. Well, and sometimes a dead sofa or two as well. You no. Know. <laughs> so where's this garage sale? I'm not sure, but here's antiques in the right. Bluegrass Collecting Agency, but they don't look open, but the garage sale's right behind them. So I'm thinking that maybe the garage sale is them. Yeah, that's what I think it is because it's their back building. So they're open back here today instead. Well, we'll see what they've got. I don't know if this is going to be their extra stuff. If this is I'm gonna not related, I'm gonna we'll just take a look. Okay. Well, I we're going to jump out and see what it's like. I'm just going to turn it on so I can drive out. Okay. I saw a Moonbow for the first time on the Oregon coast. They really are beautiful. It really is amazing, and I didn't know anything like that existed. Old chandelier with a bunch of parts, if you wanted to take the time to put it together. Hey, Pamela, nice to see you. Okay, what are you? Bunch of prisms, that's neat looking, but I don't know what you'd set it on. Is it all there? Mm, one missing, but I think I see it in the box. That's kind of neat. I'm not sure how you would use it. That's the one that fell down. Old hanging lamp is cute. Yeah, this is pretty with the lampshade. Fired on color. What is that? Well, it's, Oh, that little... Uh... Well, there's a hanging lamp, and then there's a chandelier, and then there's a bunch of crystals hanging on something that I guess you would mount over a lamp, but I don't have the other piece to it. Good, how are you? Hi, Rosie, good to see you. I have had several people ask me about Marietta. I'm looking forward to doing that very, very much. I like the paint on this 1920s or 30s chest of drawers. Here's the old... This is a good old wagon wheel. I always like those. Ooh, a tanning bed. Hi, Joanne. Here's a big, uh... Oh, and there's the matching pieces to the... Arabesque. Arabesque, wow. Very fancy. That looks like a price from the prices right back when I was a kid. Yes. When will I be selling in Marietta? Uh, well, we are going to be there. Rosie's auction house is uh, watching, and if you uh, check her out, she can give you all the details, but I think it's the 24th to the 27th. It's the Fenton Convention. There will also be uh, uh, hotel sales and things, and uh, definitely go to Rosie's auction house. She's got all the details and can tell you in detail. And these are very pretty little pieces of furniture. It's little like the mirrors. Do you see the? Oh, I like that. Yeah, with the chess pieces and everything yeah. on it. That's kind of neat. That actually is really neat. That would be really cool. Yeah, and it's yeah, it's a little worn, but it's actually a really neat idea. So that was sixties, I'd say. Yeah. And it's got the. Um, there's the cards, and the chess pieces, and a checkerboard. So pretty much anything you want to do. I'm an old, uh, old uh, camcorder. The old camcorder. Oh, yes. Yeah, well, you know, a lot of this obsolete technology people like now. Somebody might want that big, heavy thing. I don't know what they would do with it. Do revisions of 80s uh, types of things. Lucite Great Bunch, 20 red grapes for 7 bucks. Wow, that's a great deal. There's also, and I hope Rosie's filling you folks in better than I can because she's got all the details. Um, about, I'm winging it here, so please do check her site out about this? Marietta because oh. we would love to see you there. Oh, that's just a... This little lamp here is... Yeah, it's missing. one of them's missing. The... Yeah, it's missing one shade. Those are done on Fostory. Oh, I see somebody made this. So what it is is see the bottom's Fostory, a coin. coin mm -hmm. put, the, put that on top. Yeah. yeah. 
bunch of die cast. I wish I knew what my friend liked in these. There's so many of them, I'm afraid to buy for him because he's got a big collection already. Anything over here? Um, everything I like is big stuff that I probably have no business getting. Ooh, a Mattel cap gun. A Panner 50. Mattel, of course, by this time was also making Hot Wheels and Barbies and getting very famous. Yeah, I saw the tanning bed, yep. How much are your uh, cap guns? They're not marked, I'm sorry, I didn't see any tags. Hey, what, hey, wagon wheel lamp. Yeah, I like that too. Did you see it? I did. Oh, sorry. I don't know. Five dollars, I guess. Sure, that sounds good. Did you see this? <laughs> well, she's certainly vivid. And um, how much on the knife? I just, there's, there's just a couple price tags sitting in there. Probably. One says 15, 15. this I know is wrong because that's one. I know they're not. $2. Yeah. So you Sounds great. I'll get those. You got it. Okay. Seven bucks. Yes. Okay. Uh, I don't know if I do or not. Let's see. Uh, I'm going to have to change or how much in one you got there? six. Are you sure? Okay. Oh, okay. Three, Thank four, you. Five, Sorry about that. Six. Have a good day. Yeah, I like that. It's actually a whole set with the two pieces back there. I thought they were kind of neat. Oh, it's like a. It's a. Oh, I see, like an. It's like yeah, for the back of a yeah, like when you want to make your truck roll without actually turning it on, you put a huge so speaker what, in it. So what are these here? Uh, so the two cap guns are 1950s and 60s, and they only charged me five dollars for the two. Ooh, there, there are goats down here. Oh, there's goats. Oh yeah, way back in the background. Well, I like the theory of goats. The smell, not so much. Not so much. Just a few openings. They were at an estate sale, which is run by a grumpy older lady. <laughs> you know, the funny thing is sometimes the grumpy old people in the antique business turn out to be the most fun when you get to know them. You can set it for free in your room. Oh, good. Thank you, Rosie. I'm so glad that you're telling everybody about the um, uh, about the Marietta because that's uh, it's great that you tuned in right now. Okay, so that was a nice little stop. That little knife was uh, a great deal on the cap guns, Sherry. I agree. And you know. <laughs> That knife, I didn't even bother to open it up and look at the condition, which I should have, but when she said $2, and the, I mean, I, I showed her it had a $15 price tag on it, and she was like, two bucks, and I thought, well, then I just don't even have to care. <laughs> okay, so... For sales is where I'd like to take you if you can ever swing through here. Well, I would love to do that sometime. Hello from Melbourne, Australia. Wonderful. Enjoy coming from the ride and seeing the countryside. Well, I'm so glad that you're seeing us live too, and I believe that we're you gonna, are Bridget. Well, hi, Bridget. I'm so glad you came. We're gonna go for another. There's one more sale across the street, at least, so you'll really? get to see a little bit. Yeah, yeah, just down one more road. I noticed a sign. Okay. So we might have one more sale in us for you, folks. I'm gonna let these people. Yeah, this road's a little bit narrow. This is an old neighborhood. Now look at the inlay. See that inlay thing there that isn't that the isn't that mexico oh yeah yeah it does look like the mexican flag in the middle that's neat somebody's doing well they just built all of that that house wasn't there the last time i came here marietta ohio that's right sarah yeah the um apparently there's a couple of different fenton conventions happening simultaneously there so it should be really great fun i have always wanted to go and when uh uh 
when Rosie's Auction House asked me, I couldn't say yes fast enough. So I'm really excited about that. It's going to be the last week of July. And for our folks in Australia, um, just to tell you and other folks who haven't been to this part of Western Kentucky, this is where we start getting into rolling hills and farmland more. When you go to the Eastern part of the state, it's a little more mountainous ridges and valleys. So where do you see the... It's right down there. See the oh, yellow sign? Yeah, yeah. yeah, there's a day glow yellow sign here. Do you ever put, pick up Mark's toys? I love Mark's toys. I would pick them up all day long if I could ever find any, but I never see them for sale at prices I can afford anymore. Everybody really loves the old tin toys now. Aha, yes, their yard sale is right there. So no mistaking that it may all be new stuff but you never know we're we gonna can do a little drive we'll do a little drive by and check it out then we can head back into town if you want to go by those do you want to go check out that closet hut thing well it's up to you if you have it in you i'm oh, willing yeah, i do okay this looks like really Most mainly new do. stuff and a pretty new house that doesn't mean you don't find old stuff or stuff you can flip for a profit at places like that. It just means that it's not likely to have the kind of things I look for. And these folks are also having a yard sale, although they don't even have a sign out for it, or else they're just moving in. Those I'm not sure bed. which. The sleigh bed and some various stuff. But again, this is a new cul-de-sac and everything on it looks new. And that means we'll come back in 30 years, right? And there's then all this stuff will although be Although there's a big three three-car garage that could be loaded. Okay. Dang it, I thought it was Mary Edge, Georgia. Oh, shoot. Oh, That's... you know what, Pamela? We're just going to come and see you instead then at some point. Pamela who? Pamela Blanchard. Oh, is she in there? Yes, she is. And she... Uh... Tuscaloosa, right? Yeah, I think she's Tuscaloosa. She's definitely somewhere that we could get to, so we'll make a point of it. Maybe we can do a collab or something, Pamela. It'd be really fun. You have... We're going to go down there. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll make a point it's, of it. It's Tuscaloosa is the west. Is it west? west okay. West Birmingham, right? I think so. Or Arkansas. So here we go. We're going so, back in the direction of the flea market because there's, uh, I had mentioned that there were shops in town and we're going to go and see if we can't show you a couple of things there. Since you're having fun and sticking with it, we figure we will too. And like I said, I, I am in the market for some fresh merchandise. So yes, Marietta is way on the east side of Ohio. Unfortunately, it is, uh, but that's where all the, so much of the glass industry was in that part because the Ohio River, see, you know, glass was really heavy and back in the old days, it was nice to be able to put all that heavy glass on a barge and sail it down a river to send to people instead of having to haul it on a truck or stuff like we do now. Yeah, that was obviously after they had the locks in. Yes, They're yes. Movable. Right, yeah, because Louisville was where the portage broke, but Cincinnati was such a big city that they had to do something about that. So, uh, where do you want to go next? Well, let's uh, head towards town. We saw that garage sale. Um, we'll go back by the flea market and we will hit, um, I think maybe the shops in town, don't you think? Yeah. Quantum, uh, yeah, well, we'll see if that guy on the left who has the big antique store, maybe he's having a sale or something today, too. You never know. Hello, I see Steph sells stuff by the seashore. Hello, Steph. Yeah, so this is, uh, okay, there's the flea market again. And boy, they are still busy. This is nice to see. Usually, on a regular day, by this time, because we're looking at, uh, we're almost at a quarter to noon, actually close to noon here, we would be expecting um, that we would see this place be kind of emptying out, but I think people are just really excited because it's the holiday weekend, so they still have a big crowd at the flea market. But we picked that one pretty much as much as we could, I think. So, and there it is, Luke's Town and Country Flea Market again. So we're gonna head this way. 
there, oh, there that, are at least three shops. I think there's three shops in the next uh, few miles here, yeah. So we're not just taking you on a wild goose chase. There is stuff to see. Central City on the left there, you see the sign. That is where the Everly Brothers are from. Okay, it says garage sale right and left. Um, up to you or we can yeah, just go I'm into town. Go on to the shop because I think we'll have better luck with that. And, um, oh, hello, Veranda Files. It's what nice to have this? you for your tea break. Yes, let's stop here. This place, and they're having a big outdoor sale. Yes, let's absolutely stop here because they've had fun stuff in the past. This place sells new stuff, old stuff, and in between. They open every Tuesday during the flea market. They have a main store, and then they have a back store. You okay. probably will not want to go in the main store because they have a CAT, but the outside does not. Uh, let's see here. Okay, so we have somebody who is a medical doctor, Julian Cole, MD. This is one of these weird things that I really like buying because, I mean, this is from some doctor's office, and no, we're not going to see this particular doctor come and buy it back, but it's just strange and interesting enough. And people like these sorts of signs. So I think I'm going to probably get that. But we'll keep looking around. This is nice looking. But it is a revival piece from the 90s. It's not an original. Bunch of change. Let's see what we have over here. We've got... Oh gosh. All sorts of stuff. I see these little textured vases from Japan a lot. Let's see what he's got here. Oh, there's a toucan. It says glued feet. Oh, yep, I see it. It's broken and re-glued. Oh, well. But it's a piece anyway. Yeah, that actually, they just didn't do a great job on it. But to me, that you could, you could fix it, but you know I won't. <laughs> What in the world are these? You no, know, some sort of crop related. Oh, look at this guy. This guy is from the Crab Shack and he is ready for your party. He is made out of coconut and it looks like probably in Mes Mexico. Oh, there's the Afghan. <laughs> Good colors. 15. Yeah, I don't know. Mm, maybe. It's a little. I'd like it to be bigger, honestly, for that price. I know I'm spoiled. Oh, thank you, Pamela. That's very nice of you. We appreciate that. Linens are cool, I agree. Hi, Maria. Nice to see you there. And let's see what else they've got over here. Lots of clothing and fashion. Some of their textiles. Uh, yeah, usually there's some interesting stuff inside here, so we'll just see. Yeah, that looks like a great textured vase, but it is actually pretty new, but it is a nice color. Clear glass. Nice bird cage. Okay, please bring things inside because they just open this up and then they mainly run the store inside the store. So, yeah, it's a combination. They get consignment. Sometimes they get old stuff. Sometimes it's newer decorator stuff. Pot socks fabric cover. So if your plant needs a uh, cozy, then there it is. Ooh, Franciscan ivy. Jeffrey at Real Nifty Vintage. This is his pattern. It was also Lucille Ball's pattern on I Love Lucy. I want to get this. Oh, can you use that? I the seat that we took over. To your... Kathy wanted something that was more substantial. Okay. And I think this maybe She said something striped. And I can't find the one that was there, so... Okay. Yeah, your Bob will like that. Old paper cutter for $9. Big mortar and pestle. Well, yeah. Look at these. Uh, let's see what else we've got here. Oh, the rattan chairs. Yeah. 
It's not a bad price, but you know what I like even better are these. Yeah, no, no, it's a good price for what it is. Well, it is. I don't really have a place for them, but it is actually a good price. Display sign. Ooh, the old blue tricycle for $35. Oh, your pattern is Apple. Yeah, I love Apple. That's a great pattern. I, actually, I like all of their hand-painted patterns, to be truthful. They're all just really fun. And Okay, now, this urn for $85 is actually a good deal, believe it or not. But it's heavy and big. Oh, pink ones, yeah. Yeah, these are the things to pick up because I think these are hard to find. These are new. They're no, making they're them new, again. I'm just saying, are these... Yeah, I'm sure I probably have something I should buy them for to put them with, but it's one of those things where will those two things ever be united again? There's a lobster kitchen. I think that's where they keep them. Maria says hi. Hi, Maria. <laughs> and, um, what's up, what's up, what's up? yep. Thank you all right let's see what they have here oh i like this uh this double this is 125 for the stand with the two too bad the retail prices on franciscan have softened yeah it really is i mean the good pieces still sell for good money and i did sell a desert rose set for 350 recently so Yeah, that's Flora's stuff. We gotta pay her. You want any free items on this table? I do not. Although I did have this when I was a kid. My dad used the aftershave. Crocheted. Yeah. Thingy. Yeah, I don't know what this. Oh, it's a bunch of stuff. A lot of work somebody put into it. The Crazy Real Vintage. Well, I am so glad that you had a good time. And um, thank you very much. And That's you go free. have fun. That's free. Yeah. Uh, tree stands are often free. They're not an easy sell. Unless they're old and really great. You go in there. Okay, I'm going to come in here. And we're going to take a look at what's in the store while we're at it. I hope that the reception will be cooperative. I... I can't guarantee that it will, and it's hard to say exactly what they'll have. Like I say, they have new, old, and in between, so we're just going to see what they have today. Looks like they're getting ready for 4th of July. Those are all newer pieces of glass, though, and I'll have to talk over uh, Bobby Darren or whoever that is singing in the background, but this is nice. This is a vintage pitcher. I think this is Universal Potteries, and I like the fruit. And let's see, this is a nice old smoke glass lamp, but I don't have a shade for it. This is our rug depot. They do organize this place pretty well. Now that's a neat old mirror. Uh, this is gonna be about 1890s and you'll see them stamped. Sometimes they have Admiral Dewey and War Heroes. This one has a Trojan with the helmet as its main motif and it's only $35. Wow. That's actually very inexpensive for one of these. I know it may look rusty and old, but it is old. That's the point. And it does have a new mirror put in it. You can tell because the mirror, well, actually, no, it's the old mirror. It's got a little silvering loss, but this is absolutely very genuine. Hello, Kareen. It's good to see you. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to buy this for $35. You folks may be looking at it and thinking I'm nuts, but I have sold similar to this for 95 on several occasions, so I really think this is worth getting. It's a very specific thing for a specific collector, but if they like it, they'll step up for it. Okay, we've got a marble top table. Hey. Hi. Here's this. Oh, thank you. Are you going to get that? I am. How much is it? 35. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'll take that. Thank you. I'm... Anyway, I'm going to go back to the car. Okay, I'll see you in just a few minutes.
it would fit in with Victorian nicely. I absolutely agree, Pat Emila, and people are starting to like Victorian again. So I'm glad. I, I thank you for approving of my purchase and I am going to do it. Ah, here we go. This is for those of us who got up late today and need to go flea marketing. Caffeine and dry shampoo. Yeah, I think it's a great price on the mirror, I agree. Um, let's see what else. So this room mainly clothes and linens, but not older stuff. Again, like I say, you never know what you'll find. Zeno is staying outside because he's cat allergic. And they do have a kitty cat here, although the cat may be hiding today. Oh, hello. Hello. Yeah, right here, okay, that's great. Thank you. And I'm just going to look at the okay. back of the store and I'll be right back. Okay. And some newer jewelry. This is more boutique-ish back here. But uh, it is a nice store and they do a really nice job um, setting it up. It always looks good. You know, if you can take a lot of secondhand stuff and still make it look like a new store, I think you're doing a great job. So let me go pay them for this and then we'll move on to another store. Because there are a couple in this town. I'm going to stand here while I get my money out. I don't want to get anybody else in a picture that doesn't want to be. So bear with me a minute, folks. 20, 30, and 5. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it very much. I got it. How do you send pictures to somebody? I'm actually, I'm actually live showing people. I have a, I have a YouTube channel called The Antique Nomad. I did a, I, you folks were in a previous video of mine, but I'm out shopping today, and I decided that this would be the chance to go ahead and show people stuff. And what was your YouTube? It's The Antique Nomad. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, check it out. There was, okay. I think it might have been a year ago, but I did a couple of Greenville videos and your shop was one of them. Okay. I always like your store. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yes, you do have to explain yourself when you're walking around muttering even on camera and talking to yourself. They kind of look at you like, what are you doing? <laughs> not go there. It can, or it can actually just sit there to you. Okay, it's not dirty, is it? No, it's just got a little bit of surface rust. No, it's it's surface rust from, it must have been in bad climate, but I can clean that up with a little bit of uh, navel jelly and it'll look great. Well, right. I mean, I don't want it up against this because it's sit on. Yeah, no, it won't hurt anything. The back of it is not the same as the front. All right. Okay. Well, we're back in the car. Um, the name of this shop, I don't know that it has a name, to be honest with you. It's a little too tight that way. I don't know whether this shop even has a name. Oh, it said something, I thought. I don't care for minimalism. It lacks character. Yes, I have to agree. It's I, just a minimal character. It's a minimal character, Zeno says, yes. Minimal character. Navel jelly. Yeah, navel jelly is this um, product that's basically a rust remover and um, you can use it topically so you can kind of rub it on and rub it off. And oh, look, there's a big sale up here. That, well, yeah, more stuff. More stuff. Well, you guys like stuff and we do too. So here's stuff. Okay. Well, we got all of 75 feet before we stopped again. Isn't that great? can jump out and I'll jump out and run around it don't know if it looks like our stuff but we're gonna take a look <laughs> there's a building yes okay so let's see what we've got here this is great it's so much fun having all of you with us all right this looks like Franciscan Apple but it's not it's later They've got some holes. They've been selling some stuff, you can tell. Which makes sense, because it's been... Uh, I'll bet these are Melmac, but that's a fun look. Aztec Melmac Dinnerware, St. Louis, Missouri. That's a great pattern, actually. But they usually get scratched, and that one is, too. Let's see what else is here. Five dollars, the whole box. Yeah, at a certain point, people just want to get rid of stuff. Oh, wow. 
It's got that one little chip, but I mean, it's, it's a metal enamel. Yeah. Porcelain finished steel. It's a nice shape, hmm. nice size. Yeah, if I was ready to put plumbing back in the storehouse, it'd be actually worth getting. Okay, we're still plugged in. Oh, yes. So I'm having fun. Good. I'm glad you're having fun. I'm glad that you folks are here too. We're having fun as well. So let's take a look inside and see what there is. I've never seen this place open. Ooh. But wow. Oh, wow. We've got some hey there, goodies. folks. Oh. Hi there. You got some We've stuff. We've you guys in the past, but it's a good time to be open. Yeah. Okay. Got to see what this is. Big ass group. Yes. It's a big ass oh, place. Santa Fe Cattle Company. That's that's so a restaurant. Yeah, yeah. What are these? Elderly Poodle. Hey there. Oh, what thank you, Sherry. Jelly? I'm glad you came along. Ooh, wow. Little jelly glasses. Ooh. That's, that's an like evil bunny in many ways. <laughs> okay, this might be Hager. It's hard to tell. Really? Yeah, yeah, they did stuff like that back in the 40s. Hager, Hager was around a long time. We think of a lot of their 80s and 90s stuff because that's what is out in the market now and people are familiar, but they, they were around many, many years. Little Southern Bell quarter glasses are kind of cute. Oh, looks like a little Mustang, $15. That might be okay, actually. I like that. Well, it seems like a fender-mounted thing, but I'm not really sure. I can't remember what model that would have gone on. Oh, yes, that's very 70s right there, don't you think? It's not easy shopping and doing a live. Well, thank you, Pamela. It really isn't. I keep... I keep realizing George I'm, is used to it. I've got to talk. George <laughs> is used to it. I start well. What happens is I start going through something, and then I forget that I'm actually live with you, and I'm starting to stare at everything instead. At Stetson, this is the company that makes my dinnerware, and mine is Rio also, but mine is the more of a bark cloth looking flower. Okay, let's see what's over here. Tom Christensen. Wow, this is very expensive when it was uh, oh, new. It looks shit. like. Too bad, but that's a neat shape. So, wow, is there so, stuff? Yeah. Be your own kind of you beautiful. That's what I say when I don't take a shower. We want the Mustang. Okay, I'll grab the Mustang. You want a helmet? Uh, maybe so, since it's inexpensive. It's yeah, I'll take it because I could use one. We. I just got a bike for the first time in years, and something tells me I want a helmet. I mean, if you Where can I find navel jelly? I would try the, um, I would try just Home Depot or regular store like that, honestly. Six bucks. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. And then, uh, and I don't want the, this one's cheaper, but it's bananas. <laughs> There's a certain part where it's worth paying a little bit extra to not feel foolish when you go out. Oh yeah, very 80s. <laughs> Here's the, not a bad price at all on this for $4. It's the deviled egg dish. The gold always seems to wear on the edge though, but these were um, Fire King. Navel jelly on Amazon. Good. That's also a good tip. Oh. Yes. I think George needs this. Yeah. My hair's getting long enough without it. Um, I like this place's stuff, too. Do they have consigners? I don't know exactly. Oh. Um, and we will go get the Mustang uh, piece because I see a bunch of you like it. So we will just grab it. What about? Salt and, Salt and peppers. These are all a dollar, but they're all kind of boring. Um, One dollar. Oh, yes. These are uh, same time as Mary Mushroom. These were also sold by Sears, and um, they have the same 
Yep, they quality have issues that Mary Mushroom there, has, right exactly. Uh, okay, Lynn, I gotcha. Will do. And I just want you to see it's got a little bit of wear on the edges, but it's not bad overall. So if you are happy with that, I will get it for you. And we'll go back for that Mustang so thing shortly. Like and and uh, go ahead and send me an email about that, Lynn, if you would. Oh. Those are very new. Yeah, I know. I just saw like three for a dollar fifty. Yep. Smile. Smile. <laughs> that's cute. Why fit in when you were born to stand out? See, that's a great motto. I agree with that. Mm -hmm. Lots of books. Okay, we're gonna go grab that Mustang piece too, and then we'll give these mm -hmm. folks some money Boy, and we'll move some... on. Those are very avocado. Yep. So we're getting Mustang. Hey, Judy. Nice to see you. Okay, thank you, Lynn. Who was the maker again on the chicken you had in the battle the other night? Uh, I think it was, shoot, it starts with a W, Wonder Mold, I think. And yeah, that really is a good price. Look at this old ashtray with the red so on the bottom. I just sold one of these in Seattle at my modernist mall. Yes, please. And then this too. Oh, did you see the back of it? I did it. It'll wash off. Okay. Yeah. No, I, I I will clean it up before uh, it goes. Uh, yep, that sounds about right. I like that thing. Do you know which part of the car it came off of? I mean, it's a hood for the hood. It is for the hood. Okay, I never remember what model had that one. My dad had a 66, and I know they didn't have it. I had a 68. Mine didn't have it on 68. No. Yeah, I don't remember that either. <laughs> and no, we don't we don't need the snail, thank you. <laughs> nah, oh the poor the poor unloved snail. Okay. That snail will come with us. I don't want him to go to rack and ruin. Um, I have to give you forty, I'm sorry, I'm out of change. Yep, that's right. <laughs> I see. Did you see this before? It's kind of oh, yeah. It's kind of oh, yeah, exactly. And then he'd come busting through the fence. Yeah, I remember my mom would always be like, if you kids ever try that. <laughs> so, okay, we don't need. Oh, he's got a bag for us. Oh, yeah. We don't need one for this, though. Okay. Just the, just the rest of this stuff. My wrapping job wouldn't pay us it's okay. That's fine. We it works. It. It'll get it to. On top, it'll okay. get it to the car. <laughs> okay. So let me break it there. You just open when the Thank you. flea market's going. Free, I'll, I'll be open on some cheeses. Right cool. Up, when the flea market's open on cheeses. Excellent. My okay. Day, July, All the big uh, ones. Labor Day, I'm gonna be open the Sounds excellent. All right, well, thank you. I'll come back, see ya. Thank you. Take it easy. Well, we are covering Kentucky 100 feet at a time. <laughs> Krampus. Yeah. Yes. It's my favorite holiday. <laughs> I don't know. We, <laughs> we saw that movie. I was... We didn't see that movie. Yeah, we did. No, that's a, that's a... Oh, is that a different thing? Okay. I get confused. I thought it was the one with the guy from Parks and Recreation. Well, that's cool. And I'm glad that we went there. And I'm glad that we found some stuff that you guys like. So seriously, send me an email. I've got a lot of packing and shipping to do this week anyway. I'd be happy to do some more. Um, let me set this in there. Is that the snail? No, that's the snails on top. That's the Mustang hood ornament. The snail is the most important The snail is the most important thing, yes. Well, Wanda was very happy 
Wanda was very happy, and Sarah said she'd adopt the snail, so the snail will have a home. Well, I, I told you. <laughs> yes, <laughs> it was a cute snail. <laughs> and I like Clearwater Valley for their said, oh, you're very diplomatic, George. We don't need the snail. And yes, that was my way of saying I didn't want to be responsible to try to sell the snail. But he is cute, and he will have a place to live. All right. Looking down in the Vale, there's a church. You see churches all over the place in the countryside in Kentucky. And these people have a nice driveway with a pond. Yeah. Yeah, that's another thing you can kind of see to the left there. If, you, uh, if you're if you doing well here, and we'll show the house when we go by, you can buy a big piece of real estate and set your house way back and dig a pond because there's a lot of water in Kentucky and you will end up with a pond if you dig one. So look at that nice little spread there. They even have the University of Kentucky official blue roof. I have a small orphanage of Broken Murano Avenues. Aw. Hi, Ruthie. I saw an armadillo on the side of the road. What's that about in Kentucky? Yes, armadillos have moved into Kentucky within the past few years. Treasure House, yep, we could, uh, we'll come back to that. Do you think? Yeah, yeah, why not? if we feel like it. Let's go in town and see what the Quonset hut looks like. Um, yes, uh, armadillos have moved into Kentucky within the last year or two. I saw one in my neighbor's yard. Oh, the garage sale down yeah, there. I don't know. I'm trying to... Yard sale here. Yeah. See, everyone's getting in on the act because it's the holiday now, weekend. Now, that was something there, too, at one point. Uh, it just Remember says rent that. me and yeah, but yeah. there's stuff in there. They're having a yard sale inside there. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we can turn around and come back this way and bop, bop, bop on our way out. But we're going to try to take you folks to a uh, armadillos in Western Tennessee. Yeah, it's a pretty new it's thing. The same, yeah. Armadillos actually can hold their breath and walk on the bottom of a river. And so there is nothing stopping them from going anywhere. If it's not too cold, they'll live there. And they have quadruplets. And they have quadruplets. So there's lots more armadillos to come. <laughs> and Julie says, hey, George would still like to meet you in East Ridge, Georgia. And yes, I would really like to see some more places in Georgia. I don't know enough of the good place. Lynn was uh, nice enough to take me around to a couple of places. I'd really like to do uh, some more looking with folks of you who live in the uh, Atlanta area particularly because I go through there and I really just don't know where to stop. I, I stopped some places and just not really found much or I find a store that says antiques and everything is brand new and um, so I know you folks know where the good stuff is. Just south of, south of Chattanooga. Oh, Chattanooga is fun. I shopped at the Gateway uh, mall there uh, recently. Uh, looks like all clothes. New stuff, yeah. Clothes and new stuff there. There's a nice house. There's a, there's a big house. <laughs> Sorry, Tiger, I hate to distract there's you. Oh, yes. Yeah, that is a nice, big, fancy house. Yeah, this is the... Greenville is the county that seat of cool. Muhlenberg County, which is, again, where the Everly Brothers are from, and other than that is known as kind of John a rough and tumble... Oh, and John Prine's from here, that's right. Other than that, oh, there's garage sale signs both directions. Um, other than that, this area is kind of a rough and tumble coal mining area, but Greenville itself is a very nice little town. And and that's the largest open belfry or something up there. The largest open belfry on a courthouse, really? Yeah, something. It says something like Some that. Some sort of designation. Well, we'll show that when we go around the corner will here. Pull up. Well. We'll get there. <laughs> the product they sell around, hi Stephanie Sharkey, this product they sell along with Silver Polish and Grocery Store works great. Yeah, there absolutely are antiques in uh, Atlanta, Luray, because I go to the estate sales and I buy stuff and it's great. Which way do we go? I agree, right or left? Well, this well, one. Well, there's garage sales both ways. Yeah, so. yeah, it's that time of year. We're going to see them all over. So here's downtown Greenville. There's this big open belfry on this courthouse here. Yeah, that, that's some superlative. So, I don't know. Huh, interesting. What exactly. But. And the town's here. There's an auction house on the left. A lot of garage sales. The yeah, the it's thing, the weekend. Though, is that jade. 
Yeah, this is the thing that's really unusual here. You're going to see on the right. Crazy Daisy was awesome, but they closed, unfortunately. They sold out right that there, building. House of Onyx. Yeah, so this is House of Onyx. It's been there since the 60s, and they do a lot of precious and semi-precious stones. I've never been in there. I will have to see it sometime. Apparently, it's supposed to be a real um, attraction that people from very long distances come for. And I don't know if they do it just as jewelry or if it's all sorts of things, but I will have to check it out at some point. So we're heading on the north side of town here so, towards yeah, north, yeah. the, I always call it the Quonset Hut because it looks like a Quonset Hut, but it has some official name. It's an antique store and they should be open today. And I've found some pretty neat stuff there in the past, so we'll take you there and see what it's like. There is a video about this town that I did, gosh, probably a, a year plus ago, uh, where I talk about the different places in town. I came to go on to the, the main channel. On the main channel, yeah. I came to go to the flea market one day and it started pouring rain, so I had to find something to do with myself. Oh, the grocery store. Can't you just have Instacart? <laughs> I do love the old uh, town squares too, Julie. It does definitely take you uh, back in time when lots of little towns were like this. Move in sale, rain or sun. Well, I guess they moved because it's over. Okay. All right, we're going to turn, I think, yeah, it's this light, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, I see it over there. I love rocks. I have a lot of them, mostly in my head, but also on shelves and in my yard. I think minerals and rocks are actually really interesting and I'm finding them more interesting as I go on in life. Things that we just sort of take for granted and see all the time are now the things I wish I had studied in school. I wish I could look at a tree and know what it was and had taken botany or look at a rock and know what it was just because, you know, it's the world we interface with. And Do we do we want the Muhlenberg County cheerleaders to, to wash, wash their car? Brain? Well, they <laughs> they probably charge double once they saw it. Okay, so they are open today. That's good. For sale. Uh, is that the next door? That's, I this, don't know. It could be, the, could this, be this or it could be the... This is Antiques and Uniques. And like I say, it looks like an old Quonset hut. It's probably some sort of an old freight warehouse. I now, imagine. Be, we'll just see how the signal is. We've got another... Yeah, we've got another brick and metal building here. So if the signal's not good, we might not get to stay long. But we'll show you what's outside first, because they always have stuff on the outside. It looks like they've got a crowd today. I think every place does. One thing they keep on the outside that I think is fun is this very old, very rusted Hillman Minx. This is like a 1959 or 60. This was a little English car being driven by a bunch of pillows. And that's what it looks like now. But it was very modern in its time, and you can see that somebody stole the Minx emblem off of the side. So, Antiques and Uniques, and Bob's Pest Control. I like to pick my own veggies as well. I think it is, actually. We should probably mention that, huh? Does it look like there's stuff in it? It looks like baby bottles. Oh. I think, it's, I think it's like breastfeeding. Oh, okay. So it's probably, I hear a kid inside. Maybe it's related to them. Yep, they, they put all sorts of strange things out here. They are trying to make a bistro table out of this. They have old racks and things to sell, but then there's that old wicker furniture down there. And that would take a lot of navel jelly. Yes, it would. <laughs> watch, the hook. watch this, watch this. You're going to get up on that. Thank you. It's best if you just keep it right there in that way. Okay. okay. I think that might be the kiddo who um, is related to the diaper bag. What's that, the red thing? Those stacks of things. I am not sure, to be honest. Still fun short. Thank you. Okay, let's see what this is here. It's old time pottery so it's not very old at all and then in that case all right well here we are now this place has changed some let me know if you can still hear me or see me if we disappear we'll turn around and we'll figure out something else because we may have some problems with reception in here hey guys how are you? Hi. good how are you folks oh yeah this is different than it was <laughs> 
Yeah, the new people took over about two years ago, and this place has changed. It was more antique before, I have to say. It's a little more consigner now, but they also have some pretty cool stuff. Now, I have to say the painted sofa is something I've... Oh, good, Corrine. Thank you. I, um, I was wondering. I have never seen a painted sofa like this. That is fun. Good. You see me. Great. That's the important part. But okay, I like the talk a lot over that music. Yeah, I like the um, this really cool uh, kidney-shaped um, table there. I think it's really fun. It's 185 which is probably about what I would get for it. Uh, but maybe that's a set, actually, now that I'm looking, because they've got this tiered one, too. Oh, it looks like it's a three-piece set. Now, for that price, for 189 it's not bad. Now, usually I would want it to not be for mica, but in this case, because it's kidney shape in 50s, we'd make an exception. Oh, my. That is horrible in more ways than I can count. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but he's uh, a he, headhunter. He, he, always, he always missing something. Yeah, I think he's an igorote if I'm, or igorote if I'm pronouncing that right. So, Country Cupboard is over here. And um, Penny Sue, hi there. You know, I can't decide whether that couch is good or bad either. The, the idea is clever, it's clever. <laughs> but I don't know if I could live with it. Yeah, I'm not sure. There, it's, it's, yeah. it's great and not quite right all at the same time. Yes. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh, let's see what he found there. Is that oh, it's for. Uh, it's like a large label for such a small. It's probably for. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Yeah, that's a because it looks like it should just be a cream and sugar or a jam and or something like that. But that is a really big ladle for that. I wonder if it didn't actually come with it. There's the old Hall's Tavern silhouette pattern. What's with the loud tunes in shops? Oh, they just, you know, um, it's funny. When I was running shops, all they said was how you really have to keep the music down and it has to be very generic because otherwise it'll turn people off. And now everybody just blasts their favorite tunes everywhere you go and nobody seems to think anything of it. So it's a different mentality. Oh, the mouse and cheese is cute. Oh, here? Yeah. Yeah, I, six dollars. Six dollars. the thing. Oh yeah, that's often the case though. I had a mouse holding two pieces of cheese like that recently. Oh, Fostoria Jamestown. Is that's this, one of their better colors. The just heard, oh yes, it is the same. <laughs> it is the same song we just heard. Yes, that's oh. right. <laughs> oh, look at that's this. actually a great price on these, by the way. Even though I know that this class doesn't sell like get used to it's a good color and it's only two dollars a stem so i probably should come back and buy those okay, oh don't get started <laughs> <laughs> oh yes those are um universal cambridge what? cookies in case you weren't sure what that was for is that uh that's mccoy okay. mccoy did so a lot treasure of that craft. pattern and that is treasure craft yeah when they first started doing that transferware yeah i wonder this down here. oh Oh, yes, so the chip, but. Yeah, California little lazy oh, Susan. Oh, let's see I'll what else. Is this old? Oh, yeah, that's from the 70s. Oh, they would have had one for every... Oh, that's kind of fun. Yeah, this is Bartlett Collins out of Oklahoma, and they would have done one for every single Zodiac sign back then. Mm -hmm. It was a big deal about 1970 if you were you were supposed to have and this is turned into wall art okay um yeah this is definitely a little more decorator and designer oriented than it used to be and not as much just straight collectibles it's a lot more open than it used to be they've, they've changed it a lot in the past couple of years i like this uh, you know this is not a bad way to use because you can see obviously it's losing stuff it's threadbare but 
what a neat design. So preserve the design. I think that's very clever, actually. And let's see what else they've got. Okay, I've got to, you'll have to excuse me if I seem like I'm just sort of droning, but it's to keep the music down because YouTube does not like us to allow music to be heard in the background. Moon and stars candlesticks, yeah, they're not bad. I wonder how much they are. Uh, yeah, it looks like they're just starting to bring things in, actually, so we'll let them price first. Big old cast iron. It's very medieval. And... Yes. Oh, yeah. The roly poly Fisher Price. Yep. <laughs> okay. And people are starting to do this where they take the guts out of these old clocks if they don't work and just sell them as surrounds. I guess you can make shadow boxes out of them or something. They're only asking $15 a piece. Uh, let's see. Isn't the best part of reselling the hunt? Well, you know, yes in some ways. Hey, Melody Southern Buckeye, nice to see you. Because um, the kids nowadays listen to loud music at all times. Yes. Yes, exactly. Yeah, I think we all do it at a certain point, but you're right. Yeah, it's a three-piece set and it's 189 and I have to admit I like it and was sort of tempted by it. Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> yes, I, uh, we had a goat when I was a kid, and it wasn't uh, actually as great an experience as we expected. <laughs> Peacock, $18. I do not think that's old, and that is one thing is that this place Hello, is old. Uh, yes. <laughs> is that what the hunters say? Yeah. Oh, this is old. Oh, yeah, old sewing basket, yep. And it is... $14, which is about right for that one. Sometimes you see them with really amazing fabric and then they're worth more. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go into the, I'm gonna go run away from the music into the other part of the store. Oops. Um, yeah, they're pretty contemporary. Yeah, yeah. So let's see here. There's milk glass. Individually, none of these pieces would amount to anything. You get a bunch together and height and variation, and they look interesting. So let me... What's that now? Um, oh, they're cute, but I'm very heavy on dinnerware right now, so... Oh, yeah. Yep. Yes. Well, they got to sell it first, though, but yes. And let's see what this side of the store looks like now, because they have changed this up quite a bit, too. This one has the Royal Windsor Duck family. Let's see what else we've got. Knitting basket, yes. Yeah, we're back at the couch, yes. We made it all the way through. Okay, yeah, uh, this place, again, it's gotten more decorative and away somewhat from the collectibles, so it's going to be more like finding the thing that is well-priced as opposed to just sort of walking in and looking at lots of antique and vintage because it's a little more to a mix of new and old now, like a lot of places. But I have to admit, they've done it well. It looks good in here. Uh, all, all contemporary, yeah. Now, this guy is not, though. This is a great pelican desk caddy. This would have been about the same time as the kangaroos that we see a lot of. He's $18. And he was probably $3.50 new, as it says there. But he wants to swallow your wallet and keys and whatever and hold them for you until oh, you come fun. back. Yeah, it's a different variation on the ones that we're used to seeing. And it's You're 18, which is... It. Well, it's 18, which isn't a bad price, yeah. but I'm not headed to Florida right now, so no. it's... Unless it's super cheap, I don't want to hang on to it for um, weeks and weeks. There's Disney World. Yes, they made a... You, you literally can't because they made millions of them. Okay, this space here is one of their holdover dealers from the old days. I get so frustrated having big hopes of finding good stuff in the air slowly leaves the balloon. Yes, yeah, sometimes that happens. I'm loving Vernon Ware for dishes. I do agree with you, Ruthie. I think that Vernon Ware is just really such good design. Uh, a lot cleaner than a lot of the other uh, 
shapes that other companies were doing at that time. You know, there's more of this stuff in here. Okay, I hit the thing and this is what came up. Yep, then you hit X. Okay, thank you. There we go. My grandma had a goat when she was a kid and would headbutt her every chance he got. <laughs> oh, never mind. It's missing a leg. We, uh, yes, our goat butted my mother over a ravine lined with concrete. And um, after my mother dragged the goat down by her chain after her to stay her fall, she informed my father that we were not going to be goat owners anymore. And I understand. This is actually a neat old... Uh, drill gauge case because it would have had the thing so you could see the sizes sort of like a ring sizer bucks, though. yeah $140 I mean old racks and stuff are not easy to find at cheap prices anymore everyone is kind of caught on to using them in displays okay let's see these are and then this room over here did it have push button Look, they're just right there. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. He's pointing out the Mickey Mouse phones, and the one on the back is definitely newer than the one in the front, which would be the one to buy. Let's see here. Ooh, look what you found. How much is that? I don't know. Hmm. It did not have a price. Yeah. It looks a little loose around the hinges, which can be a problem well, because they split yeah, there. But they... Yeah, it's pretty busted up. But if it was cheap, it'd still be worth doing because the paint is in good color. Oh, gosh. In that condition, I'd like it to be really cheap, like 15, 15 or $20 or less. Well, I guess he's going to go find out for us. That's great. And we're going to keep hope alive. Let's see what else we have here that might be interesting. Moon Era Boutique. Let's see, again, a lot of this is more boutique-y now where they're mixing new and old. And, of course, I'm looking for the old. Here's a fairy lamp. The diamond point. But this one, unfortunately, originally they were amber, and then they painted this red, or they I should say they fired on the red. Now the red's coming off, and it's going back to the amber. And that is actually great that the goat was able to be the formula for your mom. I know they're having a lot of trouble with that right now. Old West Clock, but this one's all plastic, and I like the ones that are metal bodies. And we are just waiting for a price on that thing, and then we'll go look at other stuff, because there is a lot in this town. Fun rooster. I like the old cream separator sign. That one actually looks like it's old. Okay. Did he find anybody? Let's see. In my house here. Yeah. This was also, this was in the front. It's got some damage. The front. In the very front row. Yeah. It's the most amazing. You want to see the, you want to come back here and see the three I just brought Oh, I'd like you. To. you see the pineapple. Yes, please. Oh, yeah. My God. Yeah, let's so, take amazing. a look. So the, stuff in, so the stuff in the back, like, by the not, door is, yes, is I just not brought all that in. ready? Okay. No, but I'm, I'm getting ready to price it off. Okay. Um, like I said, do you it, think, it has a little, it has some damage there. Do you think 12 there. is okay? 12 is fine. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It's cute. I like it a lot. And even, it's even with the condition, that has got a good pattern. Are you interested in all of them? I'll give you a really hell of a I mainly like this style, okay. honestly. Okay. You said there were some I appreciate that, though. Yeah. yeah, let me take a look with you. Well, she's giving us the purse for $12, and even in that condition, that's worth it. You are getting fuzzy. Okay, Ruthie, we will move to another place soon then. Let me get by the back door where maybe it'll be less fuzzy. I'm ironing linens and your life is making this much more enjoyable. Well, good, I'm glad. At least you get to um, run around and look at things with us if you're home doing your stuff, which is what I should be doing. But, you know, I, I'm having more fun doing this. I've worked very hard this week and trying to get caught up on appraisal jobs and all sorts of stuff and I thought you know what I think this is going to be a shopping weekend so 
I don't know if this is where she meant. Lighted tree, I assume this is not old. Yeah, see, they're starting to do repros of these, so watch out, folks. But we will wait and see if she can come back and we'll get a uh, little more information from her. Well, she said there was a pineapple one. Well, yeah. A pineapple one. Oh, is that the Tasmanian devil? Yeah. Uh-huh. All of those from the 70s. From oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They did tons and tons of those. And there's some weird subtleties, like one will have white lettering notice, and then one has black. And if right. it has white instead of black, if it's a particular character, that's short time, and they're worth twice as much. It's like anything. The Garfield Nugs, yep. Back there. What'd you say? Uh, I remember them as a kid. Oh, yeah, me too. Oh, here they are. I think, is this them? Oh, this must be what she was talking about, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, I have to admit that one is so strange. Is it's it, kind of fun, but is it old? It's got, like, thread. Yeah, it's, like, strung together, yeah. Well, let's see what that uh, looks like inside. Oh, yeah, that's, that's pretty new. new. Yeah. yeah. Cute, but not old. This one is. This one is older. It's missing its. Um, oh, and that one. It's missing its strap, which is. I think I'm going to stick Wait, with the one I got. Sure it has a See the holes? Yeah, it's. Yeah, there's no way to hold it. Okay, well that was fun, but I'm going to go get the one, and then we can move on to another place. Yeah, I want to know about these. Oh. Thank you, Vin. Vintage cash. That's uh, too. Yeah, let's ask about those. What are those colors at the bottom? Which? You got slave mail. You got slave mail. You got slave I'm not heritage. Yeah. Yep. Weak signal. Sorry, Wonder Woman. We're going to get out in uh, out of the building here, and then we'll be able to uh, have you see us a little bit better. I just um, have to go up and purchase a thing or two here. Okay. Thanks. Zeno's going to talk to them and take care of the setup so that we can uh, be outside where you can actually hear us and see us. What would you like these to be? Uh, ten, or less, ten or less, preferably. Okay. Um, he had to give him the uh, high sign in the instructions. It's interesting doing this because, you know, on the one hand, we're talking to all you folks and we want to talk about everything with excitement. Let me flip the camera. And at the same time, we don't want to act overly excited in front of the owner of the merchandise and then have them be like, oh, no discount because that must be really good because you're filming it. Yeah. <laughs> so I have to say, being a YouTube person in some ways is a real advantage to shopping and in some ways can be a little bit of a disadvantage to shopping because on the one hand some people recognize you and are like oh hey i want to give you a great deal and some people see you and are like oh we know what you're about you're paying full price <laughs> so it's 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 been an interesting experience that's for sure let me flip this back again we'll show you a few other things while we wait for Zeno to tell us what the damage is going to be I am excited to get that one uh, purse. Oh, he's here. He is. Twenty-seven, so fifteen and twelve. Yeah. Okay. Let's do it because I I think I can just flip the prices on those and make it work. Let me give you money. I'll just give you forty. Thank you. Yeah. So um, there we go. So that's another thing. Yeah, that, that is a wonderful um, price on the purse. And if it was just in better condition, it'd be an amazing price. But it is, it is worn at the hinges. And that is something that I oftentimes will reject a purse for. But the geometry on that one was really good. And the colors were in good shape. And I thought, just as something to hang on the wall as a decorative item, I can put 35 or 40 on it, because usually that's a $100 purse. And someone, I think, will grab it for that price. Um, the Ellie Smith Heritage Candlesticks, or Moon and Stars as we call it now, uh, those were a gauche more than I would have wanted to pay, but the purse was such a good deal. Sometimes you just have to bundle things and kind of divide it up. 
because otherwise it's really easy to get hung up on. Oh, I don't want to overpay for this one piece, but it's the good thing that I want. And then you leave it behind and you buy a bunch of cheap stuff because it's cheap. So, you know, sometimes you got to kind of work it out with yourself. I like that sentence. Here, let me give you the money. Yeah, I think he likes that sentence too. <laughs> okay. You actually, you game face in negotiating is a wonderful thing. And oh yes, thank you. Yes, game face is important. I mean, it is really, uh, oh, thank you. I'm trying to multitask. Um, Game face is important in this. It's not that, um, you know, I love sharing information and telling people what they've got and what I see and what I think is great about it. I don't hold information back from viewers or anybody uh, that I'm dealing with on a regular basis. But when you're a buyer, there is some strategy to that. And, you know, these are other professional antique dealers. They know what they've got. They know what they're selling. They know what they can afford. And, um, yeah, as far as the game face, the thing I try to do is... If I see something really wonderful and exciting and I'm all like super hyped about it, I kind of just, there you go. thank you. Thank you very much. I try to tell myself that, okay, take a deep breath, stay calm. You can get all excited afterwards and show everybody on YouTube or all your friends or your favorite customer that's buying that thing from you or whatever. Save the enthusiasm for them. So I just try to take a deep breath and go, Okay, everything is just fine. Oh, I'm, I'm interested in this. Uh, it's just better than jumping up and down. Now, I have to say, if you're a collector, it's different. When I'm dealing with a collector at a show and I've got a retail price on something, if they seem really excited about it, like I have always wanted one of these for my collection, I'm actually more inclined to give them a discount than somebody who comes up and says, oh, well, this is fine, but I wish it was this color or you know it's got a little chip or you know when people start bad mouthing the merchandise i figure it's either a sales ploy or they really don't want it and i'd rather deal with people who are enthusiastic <laughs> you know the thing about uh, this business is that we are dealers because we like to buy and resell and it's just what we do but we only get to do that because there are serious collectors who want this stuff and i just think that's really so important that we remember that, you know, we talk so much about reselling on YouTube, but it's not just about that because the only reason we get to resell is because somebody thinks this stuff is cool like we do. So the enthusiasm is great. It's just knowing when to express it. <laughs> I have an uncontrollable under my breath squeal. My, <laughs> my husband can hear it across the store. No one else can really though. That's actually good. You can always just say, oh, I, I bit my tongue. Um, I do the same, but with that estate sale, yes. Yeah, she knows what it's like. And sometimes, you know, when the people know you, then it's different. But when you're in a brand new place and you haven't been before. Okay, let's see here. I'm gonna get in the car. I'll be able to read some of your comments better. Thank you for grabbing that stuff. I appreciate it. Oh yeah, until the... Tearing an idea down is a bad negotiating practice. I completely agree. Turning one. Oh, we were talking while you were in there about, um, you know, when to show enthusiasm and when to try to um, oh. be calm. Yeah. Yeah. I love the rusty little car. I don't think it's for sale. It's kind of their mascot. I always try to point out something that could be lowering the value to get a better deal. And that is perfectly legit. And that is the way to do it is to um, you say, oh, I like this. I noticed it has a little problem. And then usually the person will be very receptive or they'll say, yes, I took that into account. And at least, you know, Okay. as opposed to the um, Hey, Fat Bird Finds. Hi there. <laughs> nice to see you. You're supposed to be in a yard sale. Well, <laughs> there. Yes, they are. They. Yeah. How is your yard sale going? Or is that? Tomorrow. What are your hours for your yard sale tomorrow, Fat Birds? I can't contain myself, therefore I can't be a reseller. And you know that's okay. Um, Jeez, what are we doing? 
we love oh we are oh you're at the yard sale now okay good well i'm glad to distract you <laughs> i hope it's going well i hope there's something left for us if we end up getting to go there uh, but we are in greenville and uh, i don't know if i have laura or mary beth watching or uh but we are or Ruth Ann might be watching, yes. Uh, we'll find out real soon if Ruth Ann is watching. So, yeah, we're in uh, Greenville. We went to the flea market and we're hitting some garage sales and we just decided to go live and and uh, have an 8 to 3 tomorrow. Okay, that's okay. great. Um, we are going to go in another place that I like to go here. Now, there's a couple places you'll notice on straight ahead. There's this very fancy place with all the bunting that's called the the screen, screen door. door. They That's... say they have antiques. There's not one antique thing in there. It's all white painted furniture. Next door, on the other hand, is attic heirlooms with this huge pile of boards. I wonder what's going on there. Um, this is a funky sort of consignment slash thrift slash antique vintage store. And I usually find st some stuff here. I guess if barn board is my thing today, it's we've got a bunch of that. Ooh. So we will go in here and see what this is like. Yeah, check the signal. Yes, and we'll also have to check the signal because we have had some signal things depending on where we went today. But I think we're okay. Hey, how are you? How are you? Good. Oh, that's funny how they've uh, taken the old lawnmower and made their own handle. I love it. So this place has also changed a lot and actually gotten a lot uh, more stuff. And it's, uh, again, consignments. It's a combination of new old and in between. So this oak desk here is probably 1910, I would say, right inside the door. But they've got a space with a bunch of uh, vintage fashion and stuff. Everything in here let's see we've got california raisins two dollars each i have a few of these to sell already those are the plush okay oh outing for me we are at Attic Heirlooms in Greenville, Kentucky. And um, unfortunately, a lot of times we find with metal buildings or buildings made out of cinder block that the signal may be perfectly great until you get in the building. Um, so we're having a little trouble with that. So no, no, okay. Let me know if I unfreeze. I'm, I'm very concerned that we get this back because we wanna keep on going if we can. So tell me if you're seeing a big pile of boards in front of a building now folks because the last message i have is you're frozen uh better okay yeah yeah this has to do with being outside instead of in so we're gonna have to let Zeno do the first scouting and then we're gonna come back and we'll show you some more interesting things um you're not getting me even we see you you're fine now okay most people are getting me again unfrozen okay thank you blackberry thistle nice to see you julie gagney hi um i think i sent you an invoice julie hopefully i got that uh, up to date since we're outside we're going to look at some outside stuff first and these folding chairs are pretty cool this is definitely a um 60s pattern and it's nice with the folders and it's 85 for the set now see the umbrella is newer but again in florida i could double the money on that so you know it all just depends on where you are at a given time oh moon and stars banana boat uh huh. $20 and uh, what color is the small one? Okay. I don't think so. Oh, thank you, Julie. I'll make sure I get that mailed out to you then. Um, I just haven't had a chance to look today, and I had uh, one person uh, tell me they hadn't gotten their invoice, and that turned out I had skipped one in the list. So, still breaking up for you. Gosh, I'm sorry about that. I. I hope that gets better soon. It, you are cutting out for me. Well, I'm going to try to stay out here. It just may be where we are, uh, but we'll head back towards some places that we had better reception earlier soon. 
Uh, and since fat birds may still be here, I get a kick out of showing this because it's false graph Yorktown and I like to bug them because they said, you can't sell this stuff. And then I did, but I have to admit, I haven't sold any since. This is an old explosives box and it's $25, believe it or not. Oh, thank you, Wonder Woman. Yeah, viewers may need to refresh or go out and come in again in order for it to work. Um, let's see, the old lumber is cool. Nice to see it being salvaged. Yeah, I agree, actually. It's great to see old barn board not just be left to rot anymore because people have so many great ideas about repurposing this stuff. And they've got the old rushed uh, rocker in the back there, which I think is pretty... And then this uh, this grinder on the stand, this is a corn husker and it's on a stand for easier use, $30. Well, I would say those are the two things that I would get in there. Okay. At this point, so we can go garage sales. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Well, shoot, I'm sorry I couldn't show you more of that store, but it's just uh, it's just where it we mostly, are. It was a mix of decorator -y and kind of goodwill level of things yeah that's kind of how it usually is in here and there's usually some buys but it uh you know again uh time marches on and things change on the one hand that store used to be a lot junkier than it was but i found better deals when it was junkier however what they have not done is turned into this which what you see is what you get this is everything that's in there looks like this it's pretty it's cute it's a look it's not old and I get frustrated when I hear people saying, um, on the road again, yay, yes. <laughs> yes, Wander Woman, we are on the road and uh, we're gonna try to hit a few garage sales that we saw on, and the, way on the way back to maybe one more store. And then that might, uh, that might wrap up our uh, shopping morning, which Green has actually Hill gone Adventure. into that afternoon. That building. That old building falling, uh, that looks like an old freight depot again, but I don't know why it would be there. But I think there used to be more train yeah, tracks here. Road, road exactly, there. yeah. On the left side here, you'll see a neat old fire truck in front of the State Farm Insurance Agency here. This is from about 1940. Here. Here. We'll show you out the... Oh, that thing? Yes. Yeah, that's an old it's Ford. Driving. Mm. It's got to be a Dalmatian then, right? Yeah. Oh, the window doesn't want to go up. Should I not roll that down? Oh, it's sticky sometimes, but it usually... So far, it's made it back up. Where are we now? Well, Pamela, we are back in... Uh, we're still in Greenville, Kentucky, and we are following these garage sale signs you see on the left. At this point, this is just sort of a wander about and find it as it goes. Karen Gillette says, I just bought the most lovely turquoise with gold design floral vase that says Crown Devon. Oh, you know, Karen, I am noticing Crown Devon all the time now. Um, Crown Devon is really good quality and it's an English maker. Um, they called themselves Crown Devon because they never got the royal um, warrant, which means they couldn't use the word royal in their, uh, tie in their name, but yet they were just as good as a lot of the royal crown darbies and this and that's and the others okay there's a yard sale that says it's back inside there. that thing i think it's those people oh, back yeah. there yeah, looks like baby think? clothes from here okay. we do see a lot of clothing sales it is well made and lovely i have to say i think the crown divin is really nice stuff actually and i'm picking up pieces as i see them because i think it's a little bit of a sleeper okay that's that looks like a TV Much. and some other stuff, but there's a yard sale sign up here. And this one, I see one on the left and one on the right. Are they for the same place? This one says... What is it? 827 is and 325 College? College Street and 416 College Street. 327, 325. So that's going to be down here on the right. Do they have a college in Greenville? I don't think that you... A beauty college. <laughs> a beauty Maybe. college. Well, that might count. Shop like we down. Slow down and spy away. Yes, that's exactly what I like to do. Any... Uh, perfume smell out of a glass bottle. Ooh, that's a tough one. I mean, maybe put 
baking soda and water in and shake it and there's an afghan drain it out to... yeah I'll, I'll, I'll go take a look i see an afghan okay, i'm gonna let you jump out i know our okay i will oh and it's the next door too it's both sides yep i'm gonna park on the street okay i'll be right back go, go, go. or i'll see you there mm -hmm. it's nice having a driver it sure makes it a lot easier okay so let's see here. Oh, I like the wire, uh, the wagon wheel, but I think that's part of the house decor. And they've got Coca Pelli, some old enamelware tops. These are very late 70s anchor hawking. Hi there. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Doing great. Old milk of magnesia bottle. Jamaica. I know some people are starting to pick those up. Let's get around the corner and see what they've got on this table. So there are some old things in this sale. And of course, you know, we're at afternoon now, so who knows what we missed out on, but nice old wardrobe here. Oh yeah, they've got it all set up in here and I've got to talk over my friend with the nice song that I like. Ah, eight track tapes. Let's see, what'd you say? Uh, Polydent, yes. <laughs> oh, that's smart, yes. And, um, oh, thank you, uh, vinegar and let it sit. Yeah, baking soda, maybe coffee grounds, interesting. Very good, eight tracks, I know. The funny thing, Sharon, is that I have a friend who buys eight tracks. And I said, what in the world are you buying eight tracks for? And he said, I have a 65 Chrysler that I like to take to the car shows. And it only had an eight track player. And I don't want to change it out because it's original. <laughs> I thought, okay, well, see, so there's a customer. I forgot to look at the Afghan after... Uh, that, was the... that was the whole point of getting out of the car and I walked right by it. So let's take a look again got black fringe I kind of like that sure, looks I'll, like more of a okay looks like more of a lap blanket size yeah, I, don't know. This one's pretty, I like the fringe more than the oh do they yeah. I like the fringe though it's cool yeah it's in better shape yeah but 25 I mean honestly that's to me uh, that's that's a fair price but yeah. and let's see what's down here is that delft blue probably is but it's got a chip there was Anything next door? No. Okay. Not really, except some sort of vintage thing about children learn what they see or something. Oh, I see. Yeah. Yes. There's a couple of these are broken. Oh, okay, yeah. Um, well, we're getting later in the day. Who knows what we'll find? These old ceiling lamp covers. Looks like they've got a stack of them, 50 cents each. If you needed them for your house, that'd be great. Oh, yes. Yeah. 70s. Yep. 80s. Looks like it. Yeah, that's pretty much the only thing. Okay. That's, old. that's an old shade. Oh, yeah, all of those are. Oh, in those the are not broken. Those are... No, the price is great on them if you had a use for them. Mm -hmm. But if you don't have a place for them, then they just sort of sit around. Yeah. One of the ones in the house is broken. Yes, it's interesting. Uh, Zeno and I shopping together is fun because, of course, I'm very focused on um, on the um, you know the antique and vintage stuff and reselling and all of that. And he is a more practical person and actually notices the stuff that is necessary around the house, which is helpful. I see they have some uh, stuff they're bringing up to the front here too that I may have missed out because she was walking by with it. There's an old ladder. Hey, Sorry, hang on. Oh, for a double it's basin? A great, great yeah, that. that actually is a very good deal. Yes, Zeno style. Yeah, Zeno has been extremely helpful today, as always, actually. 
Oh yeah, the uh, this is, uh, the snow shovel with yeah, the scoop. This is definitely old oh yeah. It's got a neat look. I just hope to never need one again. I'm not sure. The snow doesn't last long enough to need shoveling. Yeah. Here. The snow doesn't last long enough in Florida to hit the ground. Zeno thought like my husband did. Yes, yes. And it's good. You need you need that. <laughs> okay. It is important to actually have a practical person who's paying attention to what you actually need to live day to day. That person has a... Uh... Neat wicker. Or, uh, chair over there. Did you see? And that? the ice cream set is cute. If I was looking for furniture, that's actually neat. Did I see what now? Pig mom. Yeah. <laughs> on that car. Pig mom? No. Hashtag pig mom. Oh. Well, you know, if there's dog moms, I guess you could be a pig mom. Why not? Pigs are supposed to be very clean and make nice pets. Except they have sharp little feet, so running around the house might be tough on your floors. <laughs> it's just like little high heels. Snow for months here in Maine. Yes, I hear it's been really bad. I haven't seen snow since I left Denver in 2015. Uh, oh, well. Exactly. And Kareen says, you don't see snow because you run away. And that is absolutely true. That's see, sometimes you don't get to run away. And Tiger said, I picture the snow shovel with a painted winter scene on it, which is actually a very smart idea. That would be okay. something somebody should do with that because the color is good. Let's head back out to those other ones. Okay. We're going to go back out and see what the other garage sales that they were advertising in the middle of town were. Oh, a magnolia tree that's coming into bloom. friend of mine has a house pig on Long Island. Yes, uh, my, <clears throat> my, uh, I have a relative who has a farm in Delaware and she ended up with a pig because the couple who bought him, oh, there's a yard sale to the left if you want. Okay. The couple um, who bought the pig got a nice little Vietnamese pot belly pig because they heard that, oh, they can be indoors. And they thought that that meant that they could, um, uh, oh, do send pictures. I like seeing snow, um, but uh, anyway, the, From the airplane. yes, the couple in oh, close, 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 close. Well, that's all right. Not our thing, but at least we know. Well, at least they're telling us. Yeah, yeah, that makes it easy. The um, no, uh, anyway, I got distracted. The uh, my my family member ended up with a pot belly, a Vietnamese pot belly pig because the couple in city center Philadelphia thought it'd be a wonderful pet in their two bedroom downtown condo. And then it grew to the point where they suddenly realized that it could not fit in the two bedroom condo anymore. So that was the end of the pig uh, or would have been, but my family member came to the rescue and Dudley had a wonderful life. Dudley? Dudley, yes. Dudley, the Vietnamese uh, pot belly pig, who ended up weighing, I think, a few hundred pounds. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he was certainly not an appropriate pet for somebody in the city center of Philadelphia. Okay, what's this one? Yard sale, Saturday, State Route 1163. Which is what? Uh, they just assume you know, and I don't see a number, and I can't tell you. I'm sorry. It must be that. I don't know. Well, this is they... 176, it says. No, no, no. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, th this, it said this was too, but whatever. Yeah, I'm very confused. Probably up there. Well, we'll give it a try. Well, I'm going to go this way. Because I see a pink sign this way, which I'll bet is the same sale. Or a different one. No, those, oh, down here. Mm hmm I like the chair. Hey, Rob. I'll send you one of my latest snow paintings. Oh, that'd be fun to see. Yeah, I like the chair too, Rob. I thought that was actually pretty handsome. So you don't want those rattan chairs that were back there for that price? They're just, I don't have anywhere to take them right now is the problem. Oh, I think it's that. Oh yeah, and that's over. Is okay. that it? I don't know, that's not, the stuff out here seems more. Yeah, yeah, we'll just. Has more potential. Go with the. So you don't want those rattan chairs, really? I don't have anywhere to put them. Oh, you don't have any room for, oh, I mean, there's an empty van. 
<laughs> yeah, they sit in the empty van. Hey, Goodson Vintage Treasures, nice to see you. Yeah, they could sit in the empty van until they were in the way when I needed to fill the van. No, I just, I just don't have a good spot for them. This is the cool fire station. It's like very, like, deco fire station with the thing on it. Oh, yeah, that is a neat art deco building. I like the whatever that is up there. The, the siren? Yeah. Oh, and, it's the police. And there it goes. Oh, actually, that's the fire truck ahead of us. Yeah. I just, I like that whatever. Is that the siren, the red? Yeah. Okay. Zeno wants the chairs, yes. Well, he's not wrong. It's, uh, they're, they're a great set of chairs for the price. And Sharon agrees that they were an awesome well, price. And I do, too. I just... Is there a reason I see a lot of sterling jewelry and it's not cleaned? Uh, yeah, because people throw their jewelry in the box and when they quit wearing it, then they don't polish it any, anymore. And then when you see it, it's usually tarnished. But that's great because you can often get a good deal because of that. Am I still having a pop-up sale? Yes, Ruthie, I absolutely am. It's going to be pop-up slash liquidation slash estate sale. It's going to be... Uh, here in Kentucky on the oh. weekend of the Highway 41 sale, which is June, I think it's the 23rd and 4th. And what, uh, what it'll be is at my storehouse in Kentucky, right outside of Madisonville. So look for more information about that, because if you're anywhere near the area, I'm going to price stuff cheap to sell and have lots of it. And there'll be a lot of yard sales. And there will be a ton of other sales along Highway 1, at least there should be. I know that we had a couple of viewers who came last year and they said that they were plenty occupied and found plenty to buy up and down Highway 41. It's only about 150 miles, so you could probably do the whole thing in a day or a weekend. Okay, so we're kind of going down into the holler, but... When you did your next show... Oh, hi, Corrine. Uh How much damage did you have at Springfield? Springfield was rough. Um, I'll flip it so you can see where we're driving. Um, Springfield was rough. We had a big wind. My tent had a problem. It got ruined and water got in. Fortunately, I had made a lot of effort to try to make sure that if things did go wrong, that not a lot would get damaged. And the only thing that was damaged was um, I had some stuff fall off the table and break. And I think I lost about $200 worth, which is... You know, it's painful, but I've got to say, in spite of the weather being difficult for us dealers, the crowds really came out and ended up being a really good show. And so, blessedly, the $200 loss I was able to absorb because I made enough money on the other stuff I sold. And I it just happens sometimes. Is. Yeah, yeah, they they like to do that. Unfortunately, we're a little lost right now, folks. Well, I don't think that I don't know. I don't want to Ouch, go back yes. that far because it's going to be too off into the yeah backwoods of things. Ouch was definitely uh, definitely the case, but you know, at some point you just have to smile and move on and uh, uh, keep going. And outdoor shows are wow. rough. They're Look at that. that's a big old. That's oh, a yeah. huge with lots of side stuff. I oh, I really enjoyed this. meeting you too, Jessica. It was so much fun. Oh, Stephanie, it's still breaking up. Uh, you might want to, um, and you're right, Rob, those were a great price. Stephanie, you may want to refresh. If anyone's still having people break, uh, still having breaking up, um, try refreshing. Well, we went down into a... We're back in a part of town now that should have good reception. I mean, we have to admit we're kind of... Greenville and Central City are the only two towns of any size in this area, and then everything else is is rough. Okay, Country. everyone else is saying if you uh, come back in and out, then um, yeah, go out and come back in that it, it comes back, because we are in a fairly rural place. Um, and uh, yes, those woods are beckoning, although I have to say I'm used to Washington State and Washington State, I realize when you grow up in a place like that, you get very spoiled because you can run through the woods and there's very little that's going, you know, there's not poisonous spiders and snakes and things like that. In Kentucky, you've got to be a little bit more careful because there's poison ivy and things that live there that would like to bite you. Uh, let's see here. 
Oh, I'm so glad that you are enjoying the Weller Lorbeek. That was such a great piece. And if I do find the flower frog, I promise I'll put it aside. Um, was there a lot of affordable vintage? Okay, Pamela, I have to admit, you didn't ask me, and I can't be completely objective because I was selling there, but I bought really well. Misty came, and I only got to shop a very brief while. Misty from Thrifter Junker Vintage Hunter came, and she said, yes, it was absolutely worth it. And I know the group that came to Springfield last fall, several of whom are coming back, said that they really enjoyed shopping there. So uh, I can only tell you their testimony. Carol Hawk, you are in Edmonton, Alberta. Well, welcome. It's nice to have you here, and I'm coming in awesome. Well, that's great. Yeah, you're up where uh, Alex from uh, uh, Curiosity. Curiosity Incorporated is. And uh, boy, it was I sad I couldn't get up to the auction of uh, his stuff because he had so much neat stuff in that shop. And uh, I'm sure that some of the prices, uh, I'm sure some of it went for great prices, and I'm sure some of it, because there was so much, probably went for some pretty good deals for resellers. So any of you folks up there, I hope you so had fun. So this indoor, this place up here where they had that indoor estate The estates indoor estates, time, yeah. You can try that. Okay. The Blanco base was really cool, and I was so happy, and I got that for such a good deal. So, let's... Uh, it's just up here on the left. Up on the left. Okay, great. So, we know there's at least one more indoor sale right here, and we are going to see... I see the younger customers are leaving. Alex has a very interesting channel. Just to be a little more clear... Western Washington. Yes, thank you, thank you. You are correct. Western Washington is where you forget that there's all the other things. Okay. So. Have I ever thrifted in Michigan? I think Michigan, honestly, is a great place to shop. And I haven't been thrifting there because the antique stores and auctions were so good that that's all my friends and I did. We never got to thrift stores. Uh, but I imagine. I'm gonna let you run around. Okay, thanks, I'll be quick. What's the average fee for flea market spaces in Kentucky? I think the flea markets are cheap. I think they're like 20, 15 to 20 bucks if you're outdoors. Um, if you are looking for, um, you know, indoors, then you're probably looking at a, a dollar a square foot for um, renting mall space. Dollar to a dollar and a half is kind of typical. So um, there's definitely uh, deals to be had. Um, you know, it's all relevant. On the other hand, I pay, um, you know, I'm in Seattle and I pay $3 a square foot, but the sales are great because it's a big city and I carry higher end merchandise that those folks are looking for. So it all varies. Look at the colors on this. Somebody turned this lamp base into a side table server, I guess. I'm gonna go in the back here and take a look at what else they've got. Okay, this one seems to be a little bit of cast iron, which they have seasoned and priced accordingly. Yeah, they're a little retail on some of the better stuff. Let's see if there's anything older in here. A lot of this, I think, is just sort of useful stuff. And then they've got some stuff in the back here. Looks like toys, but I don't see anything that I need. Did I see his mystery box with the Rolex watches? No, I'll have to catch up on that. Oh, thank you, Corinne. It's good to uh, know that the sound's good because I did come into a building and it seems like it varies everywhere. Thank you, folks. Thank you. Okay, sorry I'm showing you pictures of the ground. I just didn't want to show anybody's faces. Uh, right. Okay, not a whole lot in there. Yeah, so down to the store. Yeah. It's right there. Yeah, let's go to the store, and I guess that's probably our last stop, because I think we've just about hit this town. Yeah, unless you need a dog bed. I do not need a dog bed that I know of. Pennsylvania, definitely a good state for shopping. I mean, at Minnesota, I'm, I've only shopped there once or twice. I found good stuff. I think there's good stuff most places 
you know, obviously a more populated place is more likely to have more stuff, but a lot of places that used to have people, you know, these older industrial cities where people moved away, a lot of those people left some of their stuff behind. Free and food. Cleveland area. Yeah, Zeno uh, used to live there in college and he did all of his uh, clothes shopping in the thrift stores back when uh, you could get the 70s stuff um, and all that. Did we go out here? We didn't. We're going to try one garage sale that we see a sign for down this area. Yeah, I'm sure Minnesota is underrated. I mean, Minnesota, I think people... Tim Hazeltine, and that was that. <laughs> and that was that. Yeah, I think that, um, I think that there is a lot of stuff in Minnesota. Minnesota's got an older, more industrialized Ooh, uh, section that people don't realize, I think. Uh, a donkey? Yeah, there's a little donkey pen back there. Ah. I'll turn around down here if we don't see anything we like. Okay. Garage sale is back here. I see lots of signs. Well, there's a... Oh, yeah. Now let's take a look. Okay. And they've got some painted furniture and an old vanity that isn't painted. Okay, well... When is your looks... next whatnot sale? I think we're going to have whatnot sales starting this next week, so no, stay posted... No, or no. the following week, sorry. Live sale is Tuesday. We haven't posted it yet. Oh, that's right. Yeah, we're... We're, we're working on some sales. We're going to have uh, probably a Tuesday live sale on this channel. On this channel, and then we'll do some whatnot probably starting the following week. All right, we're going to take a look at this stuff. Okay, go for it. You sure? Okay. Yep. All right. Hi there, good. How are you? Look at this old guy. A lot of generations of kids have ridden him. That's pretty neat. He's kind of missing his ears, uh, but he's still got his tail. Oh, you just got approved for whatnot. That's great. Yeah, a lot of people are trying it out. Hi, good. You got a nice building here. Thank you. Full Thank of you. good stuff. <laughs> There's stuff on the carpet too there. Ah, antiquing. This is what my dad did to my mother's favorite piece of furniture. She had a fit and said, never do it again. This was very popular in the early 70s. It's almost impossible to get that finish off. Yeah, the horse is really cute. Panda trucking. A lot of, uh, again, a lot of signs, but a lot of this is newer stuff. And yet there's a few old things. I like the little vanity chair, but it does need to be kind of uh, de-rusted. And let's see here, we got that big old cash register there this goat this is more contemporary i think this is crate and barrel but it's actually pretty collectible already from what i understand and let's see what else there is hey how you doing nice to see you yeah yep i your stuff looks so your your stuff looks so good i thought hey i bet this is somebody we know how have you been thank you yeah yeah, I've had a lot of comments today. I said, it's, it's good to hear, you know? Oh, no, yeah. Well, I mean, you always have neat stuff, but this, uh, you've got it set up really well in here. It looks great. How much is the old um, hobby horse out front there? Which thing? Oh, the old, uh, the old rocking, the kitty horse out there oh, in the, the front. Little, uh, that I could do probably 15 for you. Yeah. Oh, really? Rough, he's pretty good. rough, but yeah. he's really cute, isn't yeah. he? Yeah. I'll tell you what. For you, I'd even do 12. Yeah. Oh, that's really he's nice. Really, yeah, kind of primitive looking. You know, he's, he's very tall. primitive. Yeah. Uh, he's, I had a, uh, a Wonder Horse from the 80s. Oh, yeah. Uh, the Wonder Horses yeah. are neat. Yeah. yeah. yeah and those, how much are your liars here? Those there, I could do you probably uh, 10 for the pair. 10 yeah. for the pair? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think I'll take those for okay. sure. Thank you. Right. Yeah, I'll grab so the other one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Twin yeah. Lakes is Twin yeah, Lakes is pretty yeah, good. You know, with, yeah. With you, the economy and the gas prices? Well, you cool. know what? I think people are just so ready to get out. I think yeah. that's part of the reason. Yeah. I mean, everybody's well, like, like, oh, the gas know, has gone up. I'm like, yeah, everyone's on the road, you know? They yeah. They're going. They're just like, they're, they're going. Saying, They've had two years of yeah. this. They're ready to get out. <laughs> yeah, if you need me to get anything down for you, holler. Okay. <laughs> there's stuff everywhere. Yeah. Well, they have I some. I this up on the holidays and. 
Occasionally have a garage sale. Yeah, neat. Yeah, I, I, it's funny because when I didn't see you at the flea market, I thought, oh, okay. Yeah. I kind of thought I'd run into you, and now I know yeah. why because you were doing it here. Time. Well, for today. You really do better on a regular day than you do at the holidays because you get a lot of traffic. But most people are just getting out of the house. And they're and they're looking. They're not looking for old stuff or as interesting stuff. They're just sort of looking. I like that actually. That is neat. That's a German clock there. That is cool and farm fresh. Yeah, that you do get cool neat stuff. But uh, uh, try to have a little bit of everything. Well, you know, a little bit of everything. I I never know what to buy, so why not? <laughs> I mean, I figure, you know, if you buy a little of everything, yeah. then you're going to have Last a little of something year, someone will like. I'm weeding out all the my cheap glass, and I'm trying to get some better... The better... Some good Fenton and some Plastorian. Yes, like better that. quality, you yeah. People want that, you know. People are, yeah. yeah, people are getting more sophisticated, yeah. which I think is great. Mm -hmm. You know, I've been doing this YouTube, I, I, I'm, right. I'm live now, so sorry about that. Uh, but I'm... Uh, yeah, I mean, part of the reason I wanted to do this all along was to try to help people learn yeah. more and elevate yeah. what they're doing, and they Have seem you ever like been they are. The Bridge Festival up in Indiana? No, I haven't been. You should go to that. You guys would love it. Oh yeah. It's every October it runs ten days straight, and they oh god, it's all in a rural setting. The uh, stuff. Okay. That sounds really fun. And I've heard about it. Other stuff for up there. I've got a friend that's got a shop since 1967 up there. What? And he'll text me a What's picture. That? Look what I sold today for thirty-five hundred. Look what I sold for twenty-eight hundred. I was like, I "Wow!" Said, I think I'll send my stuff up. To <laughs> right, exactly. Yeah. Sometimes you just think, "How do they? Uh, yeah. How do but, they do uh, it?" And he's got. Where's he's the, town, uh, the town? Is that actually, here? it's just a little bit north of Terre Haute, Indiana. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it's not that far. Oh, no, yeah. About four, about four hours north. Oh, yeah. does he have an auction house also? No. no. Oh, okay. Because I, I, he, I he. He. a good auction to go to if you get a chance. Up in New Harmony, Indiana, Dennis Wilson. Oh, really? Oh, my God. Oh, interesting. And it can sometimes go crazy, but you usually can leave with some good stuff. Oh, that's good to know. Cause... He gets, oh, he gets some really neat stuff. Oh, that's, that's cool. That's a really old mirror. That is a neat mirror. Yeah. Did you, did you see the back of it? I you know. did, actually, yeah, where it's got the... It's amazing. Here, I'll hold that so it won't fall. Look at that. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, yeah the way and it's put together. I would together. 12 on it. I'll take that for 12. Don't even what put it back. Do? Do <laughs> um, I'm just going to get the two harps and this. I, the horse is wonderful. Yeah, I and so it's really neat. nice. Yeah. yeah, I like mirrors. And, I love to see this oh, quality oh, stuff. Here. And, uh, yeah. yeah. I bought those Isn't at uh, Isn't this a golf course. No. I thought that and was like I'll that do a dollar so piece on those. Already. It looks like they're H all H's. And I've got some, there's, up here I've got some... Eyes. Oh, I see. H-E and I. <laughs> I thought this was like a funeral thing. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Miss you already. Yeah, and then yeah. what does the <laughs> other side say? Please take a number. That would be a good idea. <laughs> okay, great. Well, thank you very much. Um, let's see. Let me give you that. I owe you a little more than that. I think two more dollars, actually. I'm glad you stopped. Yeah, thank you. Me too. Yeah, that's great. I appreciate it. Yeah, he's usually down at um, at uh, Luke's. Thank you very much. Thank appreciate you. it. And appreciate I'm so bad Zeno. with names. Tell well, me again. What's your name? Yeah. I'm Zeno. Zeno? Yes, I'm Bill. Nice to meet you. Bill, guy. that's right. Yes, and I'm, I'm George. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Bill. I appreciate I it. so many people you see and you don't... Uh, yeah. Never get to know their names like the flea market. Well, that's people, the thing. And then they pass on. It's like you've known them for 20 years. And you've known them forever, and, by, and yet you're morning, like, who was that? It's so it's terrible. Like, I know. Yeah. I know. I, I Exactly. I'm trying to get better about that. Stuff at the flea market? Thank you. Fine. Yeah, I bought yeah. some stuff. Yeah. I mean, there's, uh, you know, I, I was pretty happy with what I got. Yeah. There wasn't anything amazing, but lots of good yeah. stuff. Yeah, uh, the, the gray metal buildings, you go up in there. They I did, the for the half they off, had, yeah. They had mostly glassware, and they had some... Lamps and that kind I did buy some stuff from yeah. them because they had a little bit left that was up my alley. I mean, I'd yeah. looked at that stuff before years yeah. ago, so I kind of knew what yeah, they I've had. I've got to get down there and see your stuff because I know you got some really cool stuff. Well, we'll do something yeah. at some point and yeah. we'll invite you out. Thanks a lot, Bill. Yeah. Appreciate it. Yeah. See you later. Nice meeting you. Uh, can yeah, you back here. back here? Did you go to the treasure house? Have you been there? That's the last That's stop. That's where house. we're headed. He's open today. We've been trying to find some... Uh, Yard sale, garage sale, you know, stuff. But. Yeah.
mostly. Yeah. Did you go to the one right across the road here? There's one if you go to Over the, the stop sign. This is We're getting leads on the next places to go, folks, so bear with us. Okay, that's not going to roll, right? There's all the fun of putting the thing in and hoping that it lasts until you get it home. Okay. Hey, that's the way to do it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, there we go. Yeah. Cut that, so I'm hopefully kind of it won't eclectic. rattle. I got a little bit of everything. Yeah. Me too, yeah, and I that's... I sold two of these this morning. I had a John Deere one. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. What'd you get, what'd you get for the John for Deere? I did uh, for the two. I think I let him go for 40. He wow. He got so excited. Yeah. He got so excited. He bought that and didn't even realize it was broken. Yes, <laughs> unfortunately. <laughs> Still, hey, he got a good deal. Yeah. So it'll be all right. Well, thank you very much. Right, good good to see you again. Take care. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Think of anywhere else you might want to go. It's Old County Vendor Mall, Jane Poe, and they're much. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We've and been there, yep. There's Attic Heirlooms over there. Been, been there. Clean. Been there. Door, which I have stuff in there with her at the screen door. Oh, do you? Yeah. And, uh, which I just consigned with her. It's um, probably, probably my sister's stuff. Did you stop there? We stopped there, yep. They had like yard sale out there today. So they did, yeah, yeah. We hit that too. Of, yeah. Well, thank Good you very you. much. Take care. Bye-bye. Where's the horse? Well, I liked the horse. I didn't that get the... Thing, that sheep thing? Yes. Well, it, it was supposed to have been a horse, but he lost his ears. I and would have bought it. And, well, and his tail is ratty. there. I don't mind the ratty because he's old and that's kind of the appeal, but the front rocker was broken and that I can't do anything about. Well, we're going to see a donkey. We're going to see an actual one. Yes, let's roll, says Wonder Woman. <laughs> hey, Toledo Antiques here. Hi there, folks. And yes, yes, oh. this is fun. Interactions like this are what I love about oh. antique. I'm glad you got to see that, Brett. Oh, we uh, got he it. A, he was a chatty. Oh, Bill's a nice guy. And yes, he is a chatter. And um, Oh, look, more mockingbird chasing the squirrel over there. Oh, we missed it on film. But yes, we've been seeing mockingbirds chasing after squirrels a lot. Okay. Oh. Let's see here. It is interesting to run into some. And yes, uh, yes, Jolene, he does like to talk. Um, but it is interesting, you know. I mean, I'm glad you're actually kind of seeing how it really is when we get out here. We, uh, we you know, we it's run into people, dog. and sometimes you run into familiar ones. And ah, see, there he is, little burrow. Look how cute you are. He's got his own little barn and yep. to run in and everything. Well, he has one part of a three-car garage, at least. <laughs> which I suppose for a burrow is probably oh, pretty good he accommodation. Was saying, he was saying go up there to that, where we passed it by. Oh, okay. That didn't seem that exciting. Mm, no. No, he may just have been trying to help us out because he noticed it was there. Or maybe it's great and we just missed out on it. Or maybe it's that everybody has... Uh, it seems new. It seems new to me, too. I think we're going to do this. I'm fine with not going to that one, yeah. That's part of it, too. Yes, narrow road, absolutely. Yeah, this is uh, the borough needs a friend. Ah, yes, he looked like he was a little lonesome today. Ah, here we go, treasure house. This is a... Again, we're going to see how the signal is. We're going to try to stick with you here if we can. Uh, but this is a big store and a neat store and they have a lot of stuff and it's a combination of decorator and more to the old and vintage but you know they get some newer stuff too uh, so we'll just see what it's like and hopefully we have a signal in here can't guarantee it but we're gonna try if it's bad just come out if it's bad, let us know, and we'll just uh, come, back outside. come back outside. Somebody's bringing stuff out to the car, so they did well. The squirrels are after the mockingbird eggs. Yes, that's what I thought. I wondered, I, I never thought of squirrels eating eggs, but I thought maybe they mistook them for nuts. What were the liars for? Uh, generally to hold, um, yeah, generally to hold sheet music or 
that kind of thing. Some people do use them for kindling or a newspaper or magazines. Ooh, a pink bathtub with the sinks $50. and everything. Fifty bucks. Wow. That would be great. I have no use for it, but that's actually a very wonderful price. Let's see what else he has. I like this swing that they made. Look at the old wheels that they yeah, that they put together and then they hung the swing in the middle. I think that's pretty neat. Oh, the old ringer washer, although this one isn't quite as old as it looks because look at that face here. There are still some of these in production. There are some people who, believe it or not, you can still buy a ringer washer. There's not many, but they do still make them because there's a group of people who um, can, who just like to do it that way, I guess. Yeah, that, that, that is a very hard rubber. Yes. couple of little ice cream chairs, only $7 each. I don't like what they've done to the top, but you could easily change that. And yes, that swing was very much of the era, area. Oh, first thing I see, a cat on a chair. Yes, but it's a ceramic cat. Hey, how are you? Okay, big old resin grapes. Let's see what these are. Here, I'll, I'll check it. Oh, wow. Okay. Let's go this way now. Tell us, folks, if you can't hear us anymore or if it all goes blurry, we would definitely like to know because we want to signal fair so far. Okay, well, maybe we'll try to stay up towards the front of the building. I think this was Duncan who made this piece, the dolphin-footed uh, dish in this Delft blue. At twelve ninety five, that's actually a pretty good deal. I think that might be something that goes with us. Here's a cider pitcher, a cider jug with the little glasses here. Part of the reason cider jugs became very popular about 1910 is we're starting into prohibition in a lot of states. And so in the United States, people could make hard cider at home and no one knew. And that way you could still have alcohol. So cider jugs became popular. Oh, look there. Mm -hmm. We paid $4 for and our set. Yes. The horse planter here, I believe this is Shawnee, and I think this is really cheap for what it is. If it's the piece I think it is, it's $15. I think I'm going to get that. I think we'll set that up, and I think we'll set this piece as well. May I give you two things to set up with him? Oh, that looks like Cardinal China, which means it's probably Shawnee. Cutish. Yeah, it's all right, but honestly, I, this one is good. Okay. I'm whispering <laughs> as if everybody can't hear me. Yeah. Just Thank you. Talking. Okay. And, um, the dollhouse is wonderful. I showed this. I did a video that shows this source. So if you want to see it in more depth, especially if it turns out that we can't film very deep in here with the reception, then um, we'll have to uh, figure out something else. These were made in Italy, these wood veneer plaques and pictures. And these were very popular in the 70s. Hudson River Inlay, it says. It's made of all sorts. Oh, this one, actually, it's funny. I just assumed that this was Italian, but this one is not. This one was made of stuff from all over, but I suspect this is American. For care, oil twice a year with lemon oil. It's got a signature, and it's only $9.95. I think that's on my list, too. Tiki Gardens. Oh, my goodness. I know someone who is writing a book on Tiki Gardens, which was near St. Petersburg and was a beach attraction. And he's been asking me to find anything that I can, Tiki Gardens, and here's a treasure craft piece. 1969 sitting right there and it's only $4. So that's going. What is it? That this? is from St. Oh, Pete that. and it's treasure craft. That's Hager. Uh, it looks like Hager, but it's it actually like a different that company. Thing that was Hager though. Yeah, yeah, no, it looks a lot like them, but it's actually, sorry, I'm just, uh, this is China Craft, USA. Okay, this one's 9 
yeah, that's that's more like the price. Um, that's a maybe, sure. But I'll put it up there. Okay. So yeah, yeah, we'll see. Maybe we'll just do something for the whole lot. Old uh, statue here with the two men. This is $50. This actually seems interesting in some way. Let's see. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Gottlieb I see and Sh Oh, it's Goethe. Goethe and Schiller. This is great. I mean, it's Spelter. I think this is a good deal for what it is. I don't know if you folks like this sort of stuff, but I think I do. Although it's a ceramic base. I'm gonna to have to look at this a little closer. Yeah, I might need to... The chalk horse. Look at that. The chalk horse is certainly is large, yes. K-pop tree and glasses. Oh, fun. I'll have to look at those when I get out there. Right here. Oh, yes, that's right. Yeah, the K-pop tree was one of my favorite places in Florida. It's a meeting hall now, but it had a, a giant K-pop tree. It was a restaurant and the tree grew in the middle and the whole restaurant was built around it. And I remember as a kid thinking that that was very posh and wanting to have a house with a tree growing in the middle of it when I grew up, which I should put that back on the list. That still sounds fun. Yeah, the pineapple flower, uh, the pineapple lamp is great, but it's just not old. It's only $12, so it's a really good price. But k -Pok tree is gone, unfortunately. And yes, it's wonderful having Zeno here. I always have to schlep this stuff on my own, usually. Let's see if I can see a little more about this now. Do you mind to hold this for a moment while hold I what? the camera while I look at this? Thank yep. you. I just want to see. I know the base is ceramic, but I want to see if this part is ceramic or metal. That feels like that feels like metal. Well, I would. It's so it hard to tell, be. though. I would think it would be, but then the bottom seems to be one piece, and mm. the bottom is definitely ceramic because you can see the mm. chips. No, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I think it's ceramic to look like yeah. metal, and it's really well done. And it's Goethe and Schiller, and I don't know who Schiller was, because I... He was a shill. Uh, <laughs> anyway, I don't know. I still really like it, but now that it's all, I think it's ceramic, I probably am gonna leave it behind. I was, I still think it's neat. Let me put it back where it was, Ooh, ever so carefully. Look at this bad boy. Oh yes, the Hellenic. It's the whole thing though, 28 bucks. 28 bucks for the whole barware set. That's not really a bad price for that. Hellenic was done by Jeanette Glass. Did you see this? The cider set. Oh yeah, yeah, I was talking to them about how cider is because of um, oh, and this. Prohibition, cider got popular oh, again. Oh. There's the Sky Tone set. Yep, this is another Homer Lachlan design you can see there. And it is actually dated 1954. Little Blendo glass. They definitely have the stuff in this shop. This shop is just packed. And he does a really nice job. It always looks good. Oh, there's more of, oh, there's more of that. Oh, believe me, there's scads <laughs> more of that. <laughs> There are a lot of redware poodles in the world. What about these guys? They're cute. Those before. Yeah, I still have one. American Bisque Piggy Bank for $20 is not a bad price. These are reproductions because if you look yeah. at the bottom, they are clean white. These were originally done by Salem, China, but these are fakes. Neiman Marcus. Yep. So let's see, I'm gonna go away from the music for the purposes of keeping YouTube happy. Please do, let's see. Oh, did you see Oh, these? the one in front of it pretending to be bronze. Okay, I see what you mean, yes. What about these? Um, he does have a good eye, actually. Uh, these are Japanese redware knockoff and I really just like the uh, treasure craft, personally, honestly. Um, Delphina, I am with Zeno, and we are shopping in Greenville, Kentucky. We've been to the flea market, we've been to a bunch of garage sales, and um, people were having fun with it, and so were we. So we decided to come to this place, which is a big antique store here in town. We went to a couple other stores as well. So uh, we're just kind of doing the tour and looking for stuff that we think we can flip for a profit. And also, 
stuff to use around the house and maybe one or two things for my collection and a few things that we bought for viewers who were watching. So <laughs> between all of it, um, that's our excuse for having fun. This little guy is actually Shawnee too. And actually, he's cute for $5.95, isn't he? <laughs> That's so funny. Well, not, If you're not going to get that, okay. you need to get that bird. Yeah, I'll tell you what. We'll skip on both of them and feel good really? about it. Yeah. Okay, now I don't know who the maker on this particular kind of piece rough. is. Rough. Well, it's just the way they were made. They all are a little bit rough. Okay, let's see. Did I see a dollhouse? Yes, you did. A wonderful dollhouse. I did a video here about a year ago um, where I was coming to the flea market and then it poured rain and I couldn't go. So I ended up with, um, I ended up uh, filming here. So you can see a much longer about video about just the stores in town here. I, this sure looks like royal ducks, but I can't read it. Butter dish. 20 bucks. That's probably a decent price. I don't know if people collect the butter as much, though. I don't know if people use those anymore. Royal Dex Bohemia. This is a great price. I will take this. That's a wonderful piece. So I'm going to set that up with the other pieces. Oh, yes, to spritz your plants. There's that... There's that one back there. I can't see the price. Uh, twelve dollars. But that's a cream and sugar. Mm -hmm. the, the cream and sugar are more likely colors, in my estimation. See what it is, and it's just like stuff all around. Yeah, it's okay. I don't see anything tagged so cheap that I think I need to have it. Let's see who this is. Brothers and the new poxy. Uh, that was a pretty short-lived pop scene. <laughs> what is this? My wife's a sucker for those serving trays. We have about 10. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, it's certain things I know. For me, it's vases. I keep buying vases. I'm sorry, what are you asking? Oh, I think that's pretty new, honestly. This... Oh, yes. Homeco, bold as love. Speaking of moon and stars, yeah, there's a big old piece. With the uh, with the blue and the giant compote. Mm. Oh, I see Siamese cat. This is Viking. Three ninety five. We'll take that for sure. And then that little bowl. I always thought those were cute. I don't. I don't think they're any big deal, but I think they're fine. And I'll tell you what. We'll set that guy up too. Mm-hmm. Here's some of that Thai brass. Okay, now tell me, we're getting back further in the store. What's the price of the Moon and Stars? Well, it's 75 because it has a chip, Julie. So that's really? the reason for the discount. Yep, it says so on there. I thought it said chilled. Chipped. Oh. This okay. is a Boy, look at Thai that. set of Let me get through here. flatware, which we see a lot in brass Ooh, from the early 60s. Sorry about the blur there, folks. Very tight. Yeah, it's tight quarters, so I'm kind of letting him walk through first. Um, he's like he's popping a squat. <laughs> yes, that's how I thought of him too the first time I saw him. He seems very content. He looks like he's constipated. Well, yes. Well, no, I mean, but like, what kind of position is that? I mean, that's just an odd thing. Well, Five dollars? No. <laughs> <laughs> Your glowing description of it convinced me not. Oh, here's the oyster and pearl and ruby. This is from about 1940. Still sounds and looks good. Okay, thank you. Please keep letting us know because we're getting back further in the store. Oh, yes. The McCoy. Yes, that's a TV lamp. Sometimes they have a shade. Sometimes it's just out of the base. Yeah, it's in good shape. The coral lamp is fun. I don't think it's wildly old, but I like it. Where's the cord? Coming out the back to the right. $50. Yeah, that's, that's a fair price. Oh, the brother. amazing walking penguin pooper. Mm -hmm. He and poops then, little candies. That and you're eat. supposed to eat them? That's delightful. <laughs> this match is a pattern called Dixie Dogwood that you see from the 50s. Yes, I'm sorry. I know I'm keeping you all from your work and me too, but that's okay. We're going to have fun and then we're going to 
let everybody go about the rest of their business. <laughs> well, they're, they seem happy to let us do it. Here's an old Fenton bowl. This is the Orange Tree Carnival. And it's rather large, so because of that, I think the price is pretty decent. Let's see what the colors are like. <laughs> it's all pretty good. Yeah, I don't see any chips. No. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's, let's, go ahead and, let's go ahead and give that a chance. I think we can negotiate that one a little bit lower. And I am looking for Fenton and I am looking for Carnival. I know Rosie's Auctions House was in the chat earlier. I don't know if she's still there, but she's the one who's hosting. There's three different Fenton conventions in Marietta at the end of July, Marietta, Ohio. And she is hosting the one that I'm going to be involved with. And so um, if she's still in the chat and you folks have questions about that, um, ask her because she can tell you all about it. Otherwise, let me know, and I'll be. Uh, she's sending me cards, so I'll be able to tell you more about it too. We're going back into a deeper part of the store, and so let's see. I just get Fenton drunk in these places. <laughs> exactly. I need to start pricing items to sell. This is not my favorite part. Hi, Trina. And yes, I know it's important. To, yeah, there's a lot of stuff. In here. You've got to focus on where the market is because it's so easy to fall in love with stuff and then price it not to sell. Um, that one I'm suspicious of. I think that might be 1980s. But this, look here. Ah, here is the treasure craft matador with a different bull. Yes, but this is not the actual bull that goes with it. I know, I'm just not sure what to do about that because you who made it. this? You get it. It's because it's like they're together. But they're not meant to be together. $17. <laughs> I will get it because that's a great price. I mean, this has a tiny little thing there and a little bit of marks. I don't know, is it still okay? It's fine because it's all honestly, I don't know who made the bowl, okay. but for that price, it's about the bowl to me. Okay. So we'll take it. All right, we're wandering into the back a little farther. Okay, oh good, well thank you, Tiger. Yes, you go do what you need to do, but I'm glad that uh, you're still with us here as much as you can be. I'm, I'm gonna have to get a waterproof television to watch YouTube in the, sh in the shower or something with, because <laughs> I end up running around doing these things and not getting to see what everyone else is doing. I really like this table with the enameling. Yes, don't get your phone wet. I like to. I love the bowl. I love both. Oh, good. Well, that's great. We're going to go ahead and get them. Um, it is a treasure craft matador. It is married to a not treasure craft bowl, but the bowl is really good. So we'll figure something out. $68. I see these crazy things in Kentucky all the time. These owls from the 70s made into lamps, made into floor ash trays. They're just crazy. And, you know, that's actually a great price. Really good p price, $5 on this Oyster and Pearl depression glass plate, but I've already got one in my stock. And then here's a bunch of green colonial block and knife, I believe, is this pattern. This is depression glass, and this will glow under a black what light that, um, as well. Blue flower. This, yeah. uh, that is Westmoreland, and it's actually kind of a screen paint of the flower. You see it on a lot of different stuff. It's cute. It's priced about right to mm, bird. Me. Bird. Mm, fat bird. Yes. Not necessarily an old fat bird, but a cute fat what bird. What about these guys? Anything? Ceramic horse 28 and 15. Yeah, just cute, but not any big deal, I don't think. I do like the Mary Gregory with the cherub there, I have to admit. I'm going to see what that one's priced, because everything like, else in here is pretty like inexpensive so far. This is kind of like what I made to go on the same light. Oh, that's what you at made? The, at the house, yeah. Oh, cool. I mean, it's kind of like that. Yeah, that, those colors. Okay, this is marked $14. Now, I want to see if it's a reproduction or if it's original for that price. It's got the rough. Yeah, the pontal seems right. I'm going to take it over to the window and get out of these folks' way. Oh yeah, I have that hair some mornings. 
I'm just coming over the to the window because I wanted to make sure that it looks like it has evidence of wear, which it does. You can see on the bottom where it sat on a shelf. Even something like a vase that that was not moved around much was moved around some in the course of a hundred years. So you should see some wear. And it's got nice enameling, and I think the cherub really makes it, and fourteen dollars really makes it. That's a great deal. We'll take that. Blendo. Oh yeah, more blendo, yeah. Yeah, but it's a set. Look, it's got all the colors. Oh, it's nice that it's got the uh, tall tumblers. Those are something that are a little are harder more, to find. There's more in there that you. I saw the green one. Yeah. yeah. There's a cool version of that. Um, are we getting that? Yes, please. Thank you. Uh, this puckered top. Yes. There's a. God bless our 1961 Ford Camper. Um, okay, it looks like everything, even the bathroom they're using for display. <laughs> but we can use it. If we need to, yes. Um, Stangle no, pottery covered dish for $12. If it didn't have that chip, that'd be a bargain. Watch the step. steps. Um, Don't take a header in front of everybody. Right here. Oh, the pink version, and yes. Lit up. Oh, yes, there you go. Yeah, now you see the McCoy lit up. This is the yellow version. And then this pink stuff is the same era as the Homer Lachlan Sky Tone, but I think it's a different company, and I cannot remember who. And I'm not seeing any piece with a mark on it. It might be Taylor Smith Taylor. This is all reproduction here, especially these, just so you know. <laughs> Eight bucks. That's all right. But is it a reproduction? No, no, it's an, it's not a reproduction. It's just when Treasure Craft started He's doing the shape. bowl, of, no, I'm not talking, okay. when they started doing it, everyone else jumped on the bandwagon. So there's a whole lot of varieties of those by different companies. 75% off clear glass. This is the time to buy clear glass if you like it because it's being given away. Big, nice piece of Fenton. Right now, this is what people want. They want it to look like that. That's a nice piece too. Yellow is really nice. It's interesting. Yellow is a place that, uh, yellow is a color that I am noticing a lot lately. Maybe my mom reminding me to stop procrastinating. I uh, always liked what Judy Tenuta says. She said, my mom looked at me and said, you'll never get anywhere if you don't stop procrastinating. And I said, yeah, just wait. Ooh, these are these Culver tie dancer glasses. They are $2 each. That's a pretty good deal for these. I think we gotta have these too. Boy, am I buying a lot of glass, but that's okay. People are liking glass and they should, it's neat stuff. I'm not sure how I'm gonna get those other two. I'll have to come back. Cute little old radio, but that's a repro. I'm sorry, I'm just loading you down, yeah, but. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Just let me have the ones on the on the Yes. I think we got a plan now. Thank you. There are bluebirds. Oh, are there? I'm telling him to, to wrap, start wrapping this stuff up. That's great. Can you just carry it Yeah. Yeah, the only one is on the big uh, Fenton piece if there's any well, wiggle room. I think the, the only, the way this... Well, actually, I mean... If there's anything you can do on any of them, just just whatever. I'll, I'll I'll pay cash, and I've got a tax number with you. If you're paying cash, I'll do twenty percent off everything. That's awesome. Thank you. Oh, I, yeah, I that's, that's wonderful. So I'll write it all down, then we add it up, and then we'll do the twenty. Okay. Okay. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Wow, I'm getting a twenty percent discount. So it comes to pay. It pays to come when they're having an event in town, because they are motivated. Pardon me, I'm Come sorry. On through. Come on through. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, I don't know how this is going to be back here. It may be... Cash does get a better deal. That is generally true. Hopefully you folks will still be able to see and hear back here. I don't know exactly how we're doing on that. Oh, gosh. You know, maybe this will be the next thing people collect. I remember when my grandmother and all of her friends were making these. Oh, it's clear. Good. Glad to hear that. 
little bit of costume jewelry back here, nothing real significant, or they wouldn't have it in the far back, I'm sure. All right, clearance. Yes. <laughs> They're new. Yeah. Yeah, turn the back over. I can show you why, and oh, this will be good for everyone white. else. It's very white. Yeah. yeah. There are lots of bluebirds of happiness in this case up there next to the cat. Oh, okay. Well, we'll go take a look. All right, folks, we're going to walk back this direction. I like the jewelry box itself. Yes, that's true. Oh, I'm glad the picture is clear and everything sounds okay. I think we're in business then because there's more to this shop. There's another side that I'll take you in. Oh, I wish this was a little less. This is a, this is Fenton's ivory crest and the texture is a little bit weird on it, but they only made that in 1940 and 41. And then the war came, it glows in a black light because it's got uranium salt. They had to take the uranium out for war and use. Little, that was the uh, end of that there. And the bud base on the right. Nice amphora too. Did you show them uh, that? Oh yes. Oh yes. We looked at the, uh, we looked at the fun uranium glass. Yeah, this fellow's had this store a few years and he's, he really does keep the quality good here. And the displays are usually good too. Oh, okay. Well, we are losing Xenomorph for a moment, so I have assumed control. Hopefully I won't mess up too bad. Let's see what these bluebirds run. How much are your little bluebirds? Oh, I see on the side. I didn't see it there. Thank you. Yeah, can you see it? I got it now. Yeah, I missed it at first. Okay. Thank you. All right, we've got dogs. If anybody's up for dogs, there's a whole lot. And yes, they did have a lot of bluebirds, actually. This looks like it could be Louisville Stoneware or Mary Hadley. And it's Louisville Stoneware. In case you don't like the blue ribbon geese, you can get a blue ribbon pig. Lots of the jewel tea tumblers. You don't see the tumblers as much as you see the uh, dinnerware, so these can be a pretty decent thing. They seem to sell fast, usually for about eight or ten dollars each for me. There's the double bluebird for 14. Now that might be the one to buy because I know these are harder to find in this size. Let's see if it has a date. It doesn't. Not dated or signed, but I might still come back for that. If I ever see a Samoyed figure, if it's not too expensive, I will because, you know, oh, thank you, Cat. Yes, thanks for reminding me. Very good, Cat. You did a good thing right there. Uh, yes, I will look for a Samoyed. I don't find them very often. I think it's a harder breed to get, but you're right about that. Misty at Thrifter Junker Vintage Hunter just told me the other day, do check the little beaks because she's gotten some and found out they were chipped. So now we know. But these seem fine, so I'm going to put them up here too. I am keeping this poor guy busy, but I'm sure that uh, that doesn't break his heart. Do you recall what the price on the... Oh, I'm sorry. I'm interrupting when you're trying to add for me. Do you recall what these were running? I didn't see a tag. I had 60 on the sale. 60, okay, and there's 3, 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, okay. Thanks, I'll do a bit of math. 11, five, the donkey salt and pepper. Yes, those are very cute. Look at that face. I need a pug dog. Okay, pugs too. We'll look for pugs. I have a friend with pugs, but they're hard to find. Oh, hi, Trina. I am in Greenville, Kentucky. And I've been at the flea market. We've been shopping all morning and uh, we did a, a live from the flea market and then we're doing this one now. 
Yes, I know. I think those are really fun. Florida. Yes, Japanese redware. Price is right, but I'm not headed there and... Yeah. Nah. She got some fun uh, spoon, fork and spoon. Salt and pepper, yeah. See? I saw those. Those are great. Those, those are, are classic. They're good. Yeah, yeah, I'm thinking about those. People like those. Yeah, I just don't know what Diane might be bringing tomorrow. I'm picking up a bunch of um, jewel right. tea from someone tomorrow, and I don't know what she's got. But boy, Ruthie, I think you've just about sold me on these. Yeah, I think I have to do it. I think you were right. It's very dangerous shopping with all of you folks. It's costing me lots of money, but I'm enjoying it. And look at these. These are a classic. The spoon and fork salt and pepper shaker. I think they're even on the cover of one of the salt and pepper books from back in the 80s or 90s. And that's actually a wonderful price for them. Little tiny nick there. All right, let's see down here. We've got a concertina hiding in there. When a place is so nicely crowded with interesting stuff, you have to really kind of get under things to look. Dulcimers are really popular here in Kentucky. Actually, they're really popular everywhere, to be honest with you. I have sold dulcimers all over the country. Hmm, those look like the Shawnee version, but I think they're a look-alike. Esker Zoo in Evansville, Indiana. Have these cute little deer. And they are actually very cute little deer. Tempting. And then there's this weird camel. This one sells every time I get it. Oh, look, there's a whole bunch. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. No, they've got a big group of it. And like I said, I'm, I'm not sure what I'm going to have after tomorrow, so I'll remember he's got it, and I can come back and fill in yeah. once I see what I actually am getting. Right. Cozy kitty salt and peppers. Those used to have meowers in the bottom, but they almost never work. Oh, that's cute. Nice color. Yeah, I like that. Does that mean Sure. Good? Yes, please. Thank you. And you're right, whoever said Zeno has a good eye, he, he really... He, he sees things that I miss, and it's nice to go with somebody who has a different eye than you do for that reason. I think these are fairly new, but I like the contrast. Yeah, too typical, but I mean, it's fine, but... All right, we're back in the last couple of rooms here. Was that crackle? Yes, it was, Brett. And it was a good teal color, and that was the thing that uh, sold me on it. Hawaiiana, hard to find. I like Hawaiiana. I do agree with you, Blackberry Thistle. I think I probably will get the glasses today and uh, because they seem like they sell pretty constantly. Actually, that pattern in this part of the country sells regularly all the time, even still. Now, this may be Fenton. It is $20. Oh, here's this. Oh, the poppy set? Yeah. Three of them. Three of them. That's really not a bad price. It's just, I haven't. Uh, yeah, Elise, yeah, that is really cool. And yes, Wanda, I like crackle glass a lot too because you get all that extra um, color. Yeah, that's a good price. Believe it or not, I don't think I could make enough on it even at that price, even though it's very reasonable. For some reason, that pattern just doesn't go as uh, readily. This is actually Cambridge Blue Caprice. They have it marked Fostoria. The price is about right, though. Oh, Italian. Let's see what this little guy is. It's an interesting spatter. And, yeah. Savvy of that. Oh, there. It's a different pattern, but it seems fine. Yeah, and I just sold the, I just sold the last two I had on a live sale, so I guess I should get another one. Okay. Purple. Yeah, that's a Fenton, Fenton piece. Okay. Mm-hmm. You don't like it? Oh, I don't dislike it, but I don't like it enough for that. 
These are very deep blue, and these look like they're late Victorian, probably, yes. Made in Germany. Okay, so they're actually right after the turn of the century. Let's see what else we have over here that might be interesting. This big piece of glass in the back is neat looking, but not old. Sooner glass from Oklahoma. I think these are fairly recent, too. Uh, okay, we already... Did we go back here? I'm getting a little confused. I don't think we went back here yet, so let me show you this. Neat sort of enameled set, but that's $70, so that's out of my price range. So much to see. Yes, it really is. Let's see. I'm going to try to... We are killing it. We are getting some good things. Can you put Jewel Tea in the microwave? Some Jewel Tea has a gold rim, and you couldn't put it in the microwave. A lot of Jewel Tea doesn't. It was made late enough that they made a lot of pieces that were intended to be microwavable, so you have to kind of pick and choose. Um, do you know where this is? This is... Um, oh, that seems like a pretty good price for the width of it, although it's just clear. Hmm. Yeah. The, the fact that the glass is just purple. clear, sort of... No, no, the glass itself, this is fired on. This yeah. color oh, is not part of the glass. That yeah, that's how Carnival works. It's iridescent. It's iridescent, yeah. But mm, I think because of the clear base, it's really not, unfortunately, anything to get too worked up over. Um, so anyway, Trina, I'm sorry. I don't know if uh, you We're were asking if... Not too much. <laughs> um, anyway, Trina, if you were trying to figure out where this place is, this is Greenville, Kentucky, and we've been out shopping all morning um, at the flea market and garage sales, and now we are um, having fun in the antique store, the last antique store in town that we've been to. Francoma political mugs. Oh, that looks like it's Venetian. $14.95. Yeah, yeah, for that price, sure. Absolutely. May I give you both of them? Thank you. Boy, it has been a glass day, but you know, good pieces of glass for the price. You know, and there is interest, and there are collectors, and I always have loved it. So, you know, you just smile, and whatever comes your way is the thing that you're supposed to buy. I really do believe that. I've been surprised how many times where I felt like, oh, I missed out on something and then something else great comes the next day. You just, that's the way this business is. And we're going to have some music here, so I'm going to have to talk over this all. Um, yeah, they do have some nice pieces here. Um, and let's see here what we have. I've got to talk over this, so bear with me. This ruby red is Pilgrim Glass Crackle, and that's actually not a bad price for that either. And the McCoy vase behind it is one you see fairly commonly with the swan, but that's actually really well priced. So let's take it out and take a look real quickly here. This is going to be maybe not Pilgrim Glass. Eight, seven, seven, Bluebeards. Okay, thank you. Um, sure, let's go ahead. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, people seem to really like those, and I uh, have plenty of places to put them, so let's see here. This McCoy piece has all of the usual factory second things. Look at that terrible finishing in there. I like McCoy a lot, but partly because of its rustic nature and that it wasn't really finely finished back in its time. So let's see what else we've got here. Another piece of glass broke during shipping, even when we wrapped it. Well, it's really frustrating right now, Heather. I had a, uh, I had someone who's a, uh, a really, uh, well, someone I really enjoy who likes stuff, and I've been able to sell neat stuff to. And um, wow, thank you, Wanda. Well, thank you, folks, for having me buy that piece. Um, Why the uh, Mustang hood ornament? She says is doing very well on eBay right now. Oh. Um, that's mm. cute. I think that's Royal Copley, if I remember right. Um, wow. it's in excellent shape. Yeah, and it's uh, another one of those caddies where you'd put your billfold in one side and your keys in the and other. a little something. A little there, could be a... tiny rub. It might even just be the way it was made. Yeah. And how much? $16. Yeah. 
fair, but not enough to make me go crazy for it. Not when we're finding all this other stuff. I'm getting sort of spoiled today. Yeah. <laughs> this is his opinion, yes. And yes, the elephant <laughs> the elephant is truly cool. I, I don't uh, disagree with you there. Old uh, pitcher, I think that's Metlocks from California. Did I just see Kermit the Frog sitting back there? Yes, I did. <laughs> yeah, he's got a turned up nose. What about Sigma this? the taste setter. All of the stuff with Miss Piggy and Kermit the Frog that was done in the early 80s is starting to sell. And this was hidden in the back where they didn't see it. Um, the fruit, yeah, that's not a bad price, but uh, don't like this. it's, um, oh, I like it. It's Metlocks. It's cool. It's, it's 1930s and it's a, it's a decent price. Um, yeah, it did. And so does Kermit the Frog. So I'm going to leave him for the same reason, even though I think that's a factory flaw. The pheasant with the thermometer, yes. And barometer. And barometer, yes. And hygrometer. The 70s had everything in plastic. Hygrometer, see? Uh, someone wanted us to look for pugs. That's not a pug. I know. <laughs> no, I was just mentioning it because it made me think of it. How about that? Let's see here. Uh, the moon and star set. How much is on that? Three pieces for 42. That's actually a pretty good price um but not not really where i want to be the owl no the, the oh yeah the it's missing the sail in china the pitcher or the teapot yeah things were packed well and um still best of yeah i'm so sorry heather we had to oh that's that's terrible that it was such a valuable piece um i had it happen with a really good um uh someone i really enjoy who's a regular viewer and they bought a really nice um pair of murano pieces from me and one of them ended up getting their uh, broken and i don't know if i or not broken but chipped and i don't know if i did it when packing but it was very frustrating yeah yeah those are usually fra flashed over amber Oh, nice Epern, yes. But, uh, you know, nobody is, nobody doesn't know what those are. <laughs> or that they're something because they're flashy and it's kind of obvious. Well, we are making our way down the last aisle of the last store. So I think we have definitely uh, hit it hard today and found some stuff. Oh, I've got a whole set of that stuff that I haven't ever put out. Mm hmm That's probably going to be in uh, my pop-up sale later in the month it's Christmas. because I don't know that I can hold on to it until Christmas again, having never put it out in the first place. Now I know that uh, Udalali Shop is a beekeeper, and here's a neat little honey pot from Japan. I always think of her now when I see honey pots and honey bees. And... Um, not chips smashed. Oh, that's so frustrating, Heather. I'm so sorry. Oh, yes, that's the vase. And I'll never see that. Um, you haven't, but believe me, they're out there. Yeah, it's a, it's a strange piece because it's not quite swung as much as you would want it to be. Yeah, but it's the moon and stars. And it's the moon and stars, yeah. It's just, I've never seen this. Yeah, it's, it's... Are we putting it back? Yeah, yeah, I don't think I'm interested even though <laughs> it is... Uh, Sort of a swung vase. That is whole parchment and pine, and they would have had another candlestick and a um, console bowl to go with that. Yeah. You're the one looking for the pug, Gypsy Boone. Okay, you got it. So happy people are happy to shop in person. Yes. Yes. Oh. Oh, unfortunately... Um, Unfortunately, everybody is uh, having a... Uh, oh, thank you, Kevin. It is a good store. It's fun to be here. Oh, uh, Heather has had a terrible situation with a really valuable Murano piece getting broken in the mail. It's been a real problem lately. That's a pretty set, but it says it's as is. And then 
more poppies. Poppies are a very popular pattern from that part of the century. Oh, that's Westmoreland, yes, with the blue satin. Yep. That one, not so fun to ship. $15. Yeah, not a terrible price, but no, I think I'm good. Not so fun to ship. No. Not so fun, no. Fun. Well, I think, I think we've seen it. I think we did it somehow. What about the purple fairy lamp, or is that even a, really a fairy lamp? Is that this just thing? a vase? Oh, it's just a vase to look like a fairy lamp. Um, yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Oh, the poinsettias. Old school mobile home. There's a melon vase in there somewhere. I am sure of it. You have that canister set in yellow, 1974, yes. Mr. Al, yeah, that's another home co, and I have to say, I don't think those are very well done. Look at that little thing. Oh, yes. Brand new. Mm -hmm. What about this? Chip and dip. It would have to be really inexpensive. It's 42, that's which is a fair price, but oh, look at that. not a cheap price. Oh, yes. Yeah, the one I really like is the one that has the ledge, and you put the roly-poly glasses on it, around it. 15. Mm-hmm. And Mrs. Fields cookies, which this may be a treasure craft piece, Ooh. or Francoma, or later than that. Sure. It's made in Taiwan. Taiwan, yeah, this is a later piece. Okay, thank you. I remember what a huge deal Mrs. Fields cookies were. Are they even around anymore? And then there's Kathy speaking of cookies over in the corner. And she was so popular at the time. Treasure Craft did do a Kathy cookie jar, and then after they were gone, I believe this one was probably made somewhere like George Good Corporation. Yeah, it looks Monmouth like China probably. Oh, Monmouth. Yeah, Monmouth is um, out of um, Indiana, I believe, or Illinois. Boy, that was scary. I could have knocked that whole shelf down. Oh, yeah. Cool. Well, how do you feel? You feel like we did it? Are you asking me? Yes. We did something. We did something, yes. Oh, look at these. Oh, yeah, little, uh, yes, for the miso soup or whatever. Miso soup. <laughs> okay, well, this has been fun. I am going to... I think so. So I'm going to step out front real quickly, and then I'll come in and pay. Okay. Okay. Oh, you met Mrs. Fields. Oh, I bet that was fun. Yeah, no, she was she was fairly young and um, came up with, had a good product, came up with the idea, and bam, she was famous and did really well. And Okay, there we go. Well, thank you. It was certainly a full day. And let me turn this around. Ah, there we go. Ooh, my hair. <laughs> Well, thank you all very much. That, that's fun. In front of which? Oh, the sunburst, yes. There we go. Anyway, this was really fun. I'm glad that you came along. I can't believe some of you really stuck with us for a long time. And I'm glad that we were able to entertain you and keep you from uh, spending your money while I spent mine. Those of you who saw something that you like, go ahead and send me an email because you know what? I'd be happy to sell it to you too. And it's fun that you got to find it with me. So that makes it a little extra special. And I'm really glad that you had a good time. I hope you all have fun going about your business the rest of the day. And I guess maybe it's time to let you all go do that now. So... No, I was going to just hit this. <laughs> He's trying to get out of the picture. I'm not trying to get out of the picture. <laughs> okay, well, we'll see you all that's, later. It's up there, not that. It's a lot of fun seeing you. Someone <laughs> asked me about black memorabilia real quickly. I'll just say I still have a good customer for it, but you've got to look out for reproductions. And thank you all very, very much. It was really fun. We'll see you again soon. Have a good weekend. <laughs> Bye.